Chapter 2381 Put on Trial Translator Born to be Long Chen and the others had just returned to the Divine Families when they were gathered up. Follow us to the joint hearing. Long Chen frowned. He asked Shen Cheng Feng. They don't want us to release information to others. Shut up. Who said you could talk? Shouted one of the guards guiding the way. These guards were wearing violet robes. Long Chen directly slapped him. Cursing. Idiot. Who do you think you're talking to? Without waiting for a response. Long Chen kicked him in the abdomen so hard that his head met Long Chen's knee. He tumbled back, coughed up a mouthful of blood, and fainted. The other guards furiously activated the chains in their hands. Those chains lit up, and barbs grew out of them like poisonous fangs. Just try to touch me, and you won't see tomorrow's sun. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back. There were a total of 18 guards who had come to lead them, and with one unconscious. There were 17 left. These were disciples of the torture chamber with special statuses. Most importantly, attacking one of them would double someone's punishment. That was why these disciples themselves weren't particularly powerful but could basically run rampant throughout the divine families. No one wished to offend them because no one knew when they might fall into their hands. They did their best to ignore them. However, Long Chen didn't care about them. He didn't mind if others were arrogant but they just couldn't be more arrogant than him. Despite their fury, Long Chen's killing intent locked them in place. Their chains didn't move. First, I'm not a member of the divine families, so you'd best be more polite when talking to me. Second, none of us have committed any sins, so don't act like executioners in front of us. Third, my mood isn't always so good. Don't think that having a backer is enough to be arrogant. In this world, some people don't look at backgrounds before killing, snorted Long Chen. These little jailers had so much arrogance that Long Chen felt like it would be wrong not to slap them. It seemed that these disciples had never encountered a vicious character like Long Chen. They didn't say a word. One of them carried their fainted comrade away. The others started to lead the way again. They didn't say anything, but Long Chen had also lost interest in talking. The Eighth Legion's warriors saw all this and felt even greater reverence for him. Who cared about these disciples of the torture chamber? This was true dominance. Shen Chen Feng sighed inside. He knew the difference between him and Long Chen. It was that courage and confidence that led him to not fear heaven or earth. As the commander of the Eighth Legion, he had never truly possessed the mannerisms of a commander. He had also not possessed the confidence and domineering nature of a commander. Just at that moment, Long Chen clapped his shoulder, as if reading his thoughts. As a commander, don't just look at other people's strong points but also at yourself. Some people are born with things that can't be imitated, so don't force it. There's no need to imitate others. Develop according to your own strong points. Why walk someone else's path? But I feel like compared to you and the other commanders, I, I'm just lacking, said Shen Chen Feng. If you are the most lacking, why are these brothers all so loyal to you? Quite a few of them have enough talent to join a different legion but still stayed. Right. Long Chen turned behind him. Why did you all stay? Because the commander always treats us as true brothers. He's always the first to charge out and the last to retreat on the battlefield. He's the only one that treats our lives as important as his own. So we're willing to follow him to death. Shouted one of the warriors. That's right. Although our commander isn't the strongest, he treats us sincerely. He's willing to leave his life to us. What's that called? Heroism. Yes. Even if the 8th Legion has to remain in last place forever, we're willing to follow Commander Shen. The 8th Legion's warriors began to shout loudly. It was supposed to be forbidden to be loud here, but the guards didn't dare to say anything. They only warned them with their eyes. Shen Chen Feng was surprised. He hadn't thought that his position was so high in their eyes. Do you see? Every person has their own strong points. Don't reject yourself, or you will be rejecting all these brothers. That would be a betrayal in and of itself. Do you know why you lack confidence? Asked Long Chen. Why? Look closely at my mouth. Follow my lips. Because you were poor. Very poor. The Eighth Legion's warriors laughed and Shen Chen Feng smiled. Long Chen waved his hand. This is serious. You weren't confident because you were poor. You had too few chips. 
so you didn't dare to lose any. That's why you were so cautious. But you must realize that sometimes opportunities are fleeting. When you hesitate, that opportunity will sip away. Due to your fear of failure, you hesitate and so you fail. Seeing one opportunity after another, you'll naturally blame yourself and lose confidence. It becomes a vicious cycle that is difficult to break. However, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Shen Chen Feng was startled. What do you mean? Long Chen twisted his neck and stretched. All things are double-sided. The good things you see aren't necessarily good, and bad things aren't necessarily bad. You might have missed out on countless chances to get stronger, with people leaving your side because they didn't like things. But the ones who stayed are all worthy of trust. Trust is the most valuable wealth and the greatest power. Your camaraderie has been tested through fire and blood. You were only missing one chance to soar, and now the chance has come. You have the chips you need to play as you wish. I trust that you will definitely soar overnight. I'm quite confident in my vision. Shen Chen Feng and the rest of the 8th Legion felt their blood heating up. Long Chen was right. They had endured their bitter days to this point. The gains from the last two battles would be the foundation for their rise. Long Chen had pointed them in a direction, and the rest would be up to them. He was truly worthy of being the creator of the Dragonblood Legion. He had managed to turn a group of weak disciples into the continent's number one Legion. Someone capable of shaking the world had to have world-shaking methods. They were convinced. Other than that, I should warn you that you shouldn't just close your eyes and charge forward. See more, hear more, and think more. This time, Long Chen sent a direct message to Shen Cheng Feng. What are you saying? Asked Shen Cheng Feng, confused. What am I saying? You were the one who said that we are chess pieces. I thought that you understood, but it seems that I misunderstood you. As the Long and Yi families compete, you are a chess piece of the Long family. However, all you did was develop normally without doing anything. That's why you've never received any true support. When thinking about things, don't just consider them from your own point of view. Look from the point of view of the Long family. You understand that you're a chess piece. A chess piece that only knows how to charge forward is just a pawn. It will charge until it dies. But if you know more variations, you can become a knight. Within the rules, there is still plenty of space to play around. Do well, and the Long family will naturally give you more help. How much the Long family gives you is based on how much value you have to the Long family. Politics are always merciless. Don't talk about emotions. Just loyalty with no power is useless. Understand. Understood. Many thanks for this pointer. Shen Cheng Feng suddenly had an insight. Elder Long had been constantly hinting at this kind of thing to him, but now he got it. As they talked, they arrived at a large palace hall. The Eighth Legion's warriors entered and it was so huge that they still didn't fill it. Suddenly, a bang rang out through the hall. An icy voice rang out. Brazen Long Chen. Neil. Chapter 2382 Don't Fuss. Hurry and take your medicine. Translator. Born to be so. This was an interrogation against him? Long Chen looked forward and saw nine platforms at the front of the palace, each with an elder seated upon it. On the third platform to the left, he saw Elder Long who smiled and nodded toward him. As for the others, he didn't recognize a single one. The one who had shouted was a fierce-looking elder with triangular eyes and pockmarks on his face. His chin was sharp like a shovel. Looking around, Long Chen saw hundreds of disciples of the torture chamber. They had staves in their hands looking coldly at them like they were convicts. He also saw a giant mirror reflecting all of them very clearly up on the roof. That mirror seemed to reflect their hearts. Looking at that mirror, Long Chen felt very odd. Brazen Long Chen, you're still in the mood to look around? You caused thousands of heavenly dragon warriors to die to the claws of the demonic beasts, and you're still not kneeling and accepting your punishment, shouted the pockmarked elder sternly. Are you talking to me? Long Chen pointed to himself in surprise. Elder Long almost laughed. Long Chen was truly skilled at acting stupid. Who else would I be talking to? Everyone else. Shouldn't you kneel already? Shouted the pockmarked elder. Shen Cheng Feng and the others helplessly knelt. These were the rules of the joint hearing. However, Long Chen said, Hold it. Long Chen stepped forward. He looked left and right, and then right at the elder. 
I didn't clearly hear what you said just now. You want me to kneel? Did I miss here? You didn't miss here. Kneel and face your punishment, barked the elder. Oh, I understand. Long Chen nodded. He suddenly laughed. Arrogance. You are looking down on the joint hearing. Capture him. The pockmarked elder waved his hand, causing the hundreds of disciples to prepare to attack. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. All right, don't fuss. Hurry and take your medicine. Your illness is getting worse. He took out a ball of medicine and looked at the elder worriedly. The disciples stared at him oddly, their staves still in the air, not knowing what to do. You, you're the one with the illness, raged the elder. Long Chen suddenly became angry. You mean you don't have a mental illness? How is that possible? Then why would you want me to kneel? It seems that your illness has grown worse. I, Long Chen, will only ever kneel to my father or mother. I don't kneel to the heavens. So who do you think you are to dare tell me to kneel? All people in this world must kneel to the sovereigns. But both Sovereign Moli and Sovereign Yun Shang call me brother. Who the fuck do you are to ask me to kneel? Count yourself lucky that this place isn't the Martial Heaven continent, or I'd have beaten the crap out of you. Everyone, from the disciples to the elders, simply stared in shock as Long Chen cursed him. Was he planning on flipping the very heavens? The pockmarked elder stood up furiously. You, what you, interrupted Long Chen. I came here due to a collaboration with the divine families. I am not your dog. What right do you have to interrogate me? As for the people behind me, they have not done anything wrong. So why should they kneel? Even if you were a person of great moral repute, great virtue, and the wisdom of age, then people would only kneel due to your character. But a piece of trash like you wants to order people to kneel? This so-called joint hearing hasn't even reached a conclusion. Yet you want people to kneel? Go fuck yourself. Why not just directly say our punishment and have it be over with if you're going to be like that? Shen Chen Feng and the others were too shocked to react. Long Chen was absolutely wild. It was forbidden to even make loud sounds here. Yet he was directly cursing one of the elders. Brazen, roared the elder. Long Chen shrugged. I've always been brazen. The elder suddenly grabbed a red signboard on his platform. Come, have him slow down. Elder Long suddenly spoke up. Don't you think that your actions are against the laws of the divine families? You would directly give the order for an execution just to vent your personal rage? This joint hearing is not just under your purview. It is overseen by the Jiang, Long, Yi, and Zhao families. Can you please not act like we don't exist? Long Chen smiled and spoke spiritually to Shen Chen Feng. Do you see? You can be arrogant if you're qualified. If that idiot wasn't too far away, I would be slapping him. Even then, I guarantee they would be helpless to touch me. Look at your own trump cards and not just the ones in your hands. You can look at your backers as well. Shen Chen Feng suddenly understood. Long Chen could be so fearless because he knew that Elder Long would stand up for him. Long Chen wasn't a member of the divine families, and he hadn't left any evidence to be used against him. Adding on the support of the Long family, he naturally didn't fear anything. Shen Chen Feng thought of himself. He had always been cautious. Careful not to cause any trouble for the Long family. Now he realized that he had been wrong. What the Long family wanted was a chess piece with vision. A chess piece that was not just a simple pawn. As long as he showed enough power, the Long family would do everything they could to protect and support him. It just depended on what you could offer the Long family as well. Through his own actions, Long Chen had shown Shen Chen Feng many things. He had always disappointed the Long family and the only reason they hadn't replaced him was probably because of his loyalty. Or perhaps there just wasn't a more suitable candidate. Long Chen has shouted and cursed the members of the joint hearing. This great disrespect toward the divine families must be punished. Or what about our dignity demanded the pockmarked elder? Can killing people display the dignity of the divine families? That doesn't seem right. The joint hearing hasn't even started yet. Things are still unclear. Yet you want to kill people? If that were to spread, how would people view the divine families? By using the execution order without any hesitation. Are you ignoring the opinions of the other elders present? Asked Elder Long lightly. These sharp words that contained no fury left the pockmarked elder without words. In the past few years, 
He had always been the one overseeing and making the decisions in this room. It had been a long time since the last joint hearing. Hence, Long Chen's arrogance had made him want to have a show of power to subdue him. But that came back to bite him instead. That was not in accordance with the rules of a joint hearing. And Elder Long had caught that. For a moment, his face was simply red as he had no idea what to say. Elder Long. Long Chen is the one who spoke so rudely to the overseer. The overseer is a human with his own feelings. Although just now he was a bit impetuous, it was still caused by Long Chen. Don't you think you're showing bias by blaming the overseer said a dark-faced elder to the right. At first, Long Chen hadn't noticed, but upon hearing his voice, he exclaimed, Aren't you Yi Yeo Chen? What happened to you? Did you go coal digging? Shut up. My life and death energy is constantly circulating, so my face sometimes becomes dark, said the elder who was precisely Yi Yeo Chen. Killing intent raged in his eyes. His face was as dark as the bottom of a pot. Due to a slight slip in his cultivation the past few days, his death energy had surged, and he had yet to balance it with his life energy. His face was normally never this dark. Ah, so that's the case. But don't feel bad. Although my face is white, my heart is as black as yours. For you to express that openly shows the difference between us. I must learn from senior, comforted Long Chen. You, Yi Yeo Chen clenched his fists so hard that they creaked. Let us proceed with the actual joint hearing. If this continues, won't the disciples laugh at us? Another elder spoke up, frowning. This white-haired elder managed to subdue the tense atmosphere. The pockmarked elder sat down. As the overseer, the pockmarked elder started things off. Are you Long Chen, Shen Chen Feng, and the rest of the Eighth Legion? This was the formal start of the joint hearing. He was now following the exact rules to avoid Elder Long causing trouble for him. Under the normal flow, Long Chen and the others would bow and respond in the affirmative. But Long Chen didn't do so. Are you blind? Can you not see for yourself? Chapter 2383 A Battle of Words Translator Born to be the elder beside Elder Long couldn't hold back a laugh. Elder Long glared at him. My apologies. That elder belonged to the Long family and hastily apologized. Although the others also felt it was funny. They had greater restraint. Long Chen. This is the joint hearing hall. And you are facing the overseer. You must show the appropriate respect. The elders of the four great families are present to judge this matter, so you don't need to worry. We will definitely not falsely accuse an innocent person, but you must follow the proceedings, said Elder Long. He himself had almost laughed. It was his first time hearing someone talk to the overseer in such a manner. The overseer was ashen, with his teeth about to shatter from how hard he was clenching them. Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit afraid of him. How was he supposed to interrogate him? All right, since Elder Long has said this, I'll accept your investigation. But I want to make things clear. The Eighth Legion and I have not done anything wrong. So you have to show us the appropriate respect as well. Don't give me this crap about kneeling. I've seen my share of blood, and I'm not afraid. If you want respect, you have to treat us with respect as well. Don't look at me with your nose and try threatening me, said Long Chen. The oversetter's face was twitching. In all his life, he had never been insulted like this. He wanted to leave, but then he would just be replaced by another overseer. But then wouldn't he be known as a laughingstock who had been run out by Long Chen? He took a deep breath and suppressed his rage. The third legion's commander, Yi Lingfang, has accused you of deliberately harming him. What do you have to say about that? I didn't. Then why did you immediately leave after attacking the camp? demanded the overseer. It was our strategy. You wouldn't understand, said Long Chen. Nonsense. You clearly saw Yi Lingfen coming to assist you and wanted to harm them, shouted the overseer. Long Chen furiously cursed. You really must have an illness. How do you know that they came to assist us? How do you know that we harmed them? Since you're so knowledgeable about everything, why not just directly say that we're guilty? Aren't you supposed to be neutral? Long Chen, pay attention to your tone, barked Elder Long, but from inside his sleeve, he gave him a thumbs up. Elder Long, has this fellow been bought by Yi Lingfeng, or is he a relative of his? Why is he always on his side? demanded Long Chen. 
Seeing the expressions of the elders twitch slightly, he exclaimed, Is it true? Cough. Elder Yishan is a member of the Yi family, but he is well known for being an upright person who does not allow anything to affect his judgments. Don't get any crazy ideas, Long Chen, said Elder Long. Long Chen's jaw dropped. He looked at the pockmarked elder. Overseer, is this your normal behavior? I remember that you always asked for the entire sequence of events before making judgments. Why are things so messy today? If this continues, we will have no choice but to put a halt to this and move things up to the sage, said the white-haired elder who had previously spoken. The overseer's expression changed. It seemed he was rather afraid of the white-haired elder's status. My apologies. I am too emotional due to the meaningless sacrifices of thousands of heavenly dragon warriors. I was anxious to get to the bottom of things. Let me continue, said the overseer. Elder Long suddenly said, Elder Yi, to use spiritual transmissions at this time is a bit unsuitable, don't you think? Elder Long's gaze was locked onto Yi Yeochen. It was forbidden to send spiritual messages in this room. That was in order to keep things as just as possible. The runes on their platforms could easily sense such a thing. Yi Yeochen had forgotten that fact in his panic. He turned red. I was merely telling the overseer to calm down. I was used to using spiritual transmissions. So my apologies. I can let it off this time. But if it occurs a second time, this hearing is over, said the white-haired elder coldly. This white-haired elder seemed to possess great authority even within this room of elders. The overseer nodded. After this warning, he became much calmer. He switched targets. Shen Cheng Feng, how did you come up with the strategy for the 8th Legion to take back your old camp? Shen Cheng Feng said, the strategy was made by Long Chen. He did not allow us to participate in the specifics the overseer's expression sank. You are the commander. How can you not know the strategy in advance? Are you not neglecting your duty? Long Chen was sent to reinforce us, and he was given absolute authority over commanding us. Even I can only listen to his orders, said Shen Cheng Feng. Perhaps he had been affected by Long Chen, but there was some anger in his voice. Did they view him as a softer target after failing to intimidate Long Chen? That is correct. Long Chen was sent by us. It was the order of the deputy elder and the Lord Venerate was informed of it. If you have any questions about it, you can ask the Lord Venerate, added Elder Long. The Overseer didn't dare to continue on that topic with the mention of the Lord Venerate. He continued to question Shen Cheng Feng. Why did you immediately retreat after entering your camp? Why not activate your formation to handle the demonic beasts? Having entered your camp, you could have stood guard over one region and slowly reclaimed the rest. Instead. You instantly vanished after entering. Was that not to Kong Yi Ling Feng and the others? Shen Cheng Feng shook his head. I am not clear on that. I only listened to Long Chen's orders. Long Chen did not allow us to learn his plans. So I had to respect his orders. Shen Cheng Feng was too lazy to come up with anything. He simply pushed them to Long Chen. If they wanted answers, they could go pester him. The overseer helplessly turned to Long Chen. How do you explain it? Explain what? You aren't a strategist, so you won't understand anyway. Long Chen shrugged. Long Chen, you must answer my questions here. The overseer's suppressed anger flared up once more. Fine, since you are forcing me. After entering the camp, I found that the demonic beasts had laid a trap for us. A large mass of demonic beasts were hiding in the surroundings. If we had done as you said and hunkered down, over a thousand of us would have died. Even if we did manage to reclaim the camp, that victory would have come at too great of a cost. So I chose to cut our losses and leave to rethink our strategy. We wished to make the greatest gains with the smallest price. Understand? Any other questions? Asked Long Chen. Then why did you shoot an arrow in Yi Ling Feng's direction before leaving? Demanded the overseer. Because we were kind and I decided to warn him that it was a trap. There were too many demonic beasts. So he had to run. Is there a problem with that? Then why did those demonic beasts become enraged after the arrow's explosion and start attacking Yi Ling Feng? You have to ask those demonic beasts. I'm not sure either. I was testing some new methods to handle demonic beasts. And I'm still in the experimental stage. 
but my goal has always been to kill as many demonic beasts for the divine families as possible. Any more questions? The overseer's anger was starting to grow out of control. Just who was interrogating who? Let me ask you first. Let me ask you this. What are you doing? This is clearly a matter between two legions. So why are you only asking us instead of them? Interrupted Long Chen. They had so many of their members die. Why would we interrogate them? Why does that sound so laughable? Because more of your people died. Can you escape any responsibility? If you want to make things clear, you should call over everyone present at that time. We can make things clear while facing each other, said Long Chen. This suggestion is good, said Elder Long suddenly. The white-haired elder nodded. If we want to get to the root of things, both sides must be present. Just a one-sided story is biased. The overseer had no choice but to give the order. Have Yi Lingfeng and the others come here. Chapter 2384 Brothers Perform Translator Born to be Yi Lingfeng quickly arrived with over 20,000 heavenly dragon warriors. This hall was big enough to fit them all. Yi Lingfeng glared at Long Chen. The rest of the warriors of the Third Legion were about the same. When Yi Lingfeng reached Long Chen, he pointed at him and was about to say something when Long Chen slapped him. How brazen. Kneel. At the same time, Long Chen kicked Yi Lingfeng's knee, forcing him to kneel. Instead of greeting the Lord Overseer, you point at others? That great disrespect is unacceptable, even to me. Speak. Do you want to die? Long Chen grabbed hold of Yi Lingfeng's hair and conveniently slapped him a dozen more times. Long Chen, stop, shouted Elder Long. Shen Chen Feng hastily separated Long Chen and Yi Lingfeng, but Yi Lingfeng's face was still badly swollen. The pockmarked elder slammed a wooden seal repeatedly. The sound was so loud that it shook people's ears. Long Chen, what are you doing? It is forbidden to injure people in this hall. Come, capture him, hold it. On what grounds? demanded Long Chen. Yi Lingfeng crawled up from the ground. He was dizzy from the slapping and still didn't know what was happening. Not even in his dreams would he imagine that Long Chen would dare to strike him here. Please get justice for this little one, cried Yi Lingfeng. Unexpectedly, his acting skills were not bad. He could cry so easily. Shut up, you're crying here, cursed the pockmarked elder. Yi Lingfeng shut his mouth, leaving the hall silent. Everyone was looking at Long Chen. The elder coldly said, Do you need to ask on what grounds? It's based on the grounds that you attacked and injured someone here in this hall. Just this is enough to punish you. Bullsh T. When we entered, you were the one roaring about how we needed to kneel. But you didn't say a thing when they came in. In fact, Yi Lingfeng ignored you rudely. So I taught him a lesson. After all, you were the very one who said that this is to protect the dignity of the divine families and the order of this court of law. This is to protect the world's peace and maintain the civilization of the cultivation world. Did I say anything wrong? Asked Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng and the other warriors of the Eighth Legion looked at each other in amazement. Long Chen wasn't just skilled at fighting. His mouth was not one whit less sharp. He had clearly beaten someone simply because he disliked them. But he could still come up with such a grand reason to make this beating just. As if not beating Yi Lingfen would be against the laws of the heavens. Elder Long lowered his head. Not daring to look at Long Chen for fear of laughing. The elder beside him was trembling. On the verge of losing control. The pockmarked elder was also trembling but from rage instead. You are spouting nonsense. Even if a lesson needed to be taught. It would be a matter for the law enforcement disciples. You have overstepped your responsibilities. Come. Have I slapped him because of an above-board reason? Everyone saw it. He came in rushing at me to attack me. So why couldn't I defend? Is reasonable self-defense a crime? Sneered Long Chen. More nonsense. Everyone here has eyes. And I saw that he never attacked you. Raged the pockmarked elder. You didn't see it because you are blind. But everyone else saw it. He came rushing at me as soon as he saw me. And when he was less than 10 feet away. He suddenly pointed his finger at me. At that distance, if he wanted to attack, he would instantly take my life. His left foot was forward. His right foot was back. His mouth was open. His eyes were circular. That was clearly the posture of the long-lost technique. The teeth grimacing life-ripping finger. 
I also felt a sharp killing intent that chilled me from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. Even my shoes turned cold. To protect myself in that situation is the natural instinct of a cultivator. I attacked to prevent him from killing me. Ah, it really is frightening just thinking about the teeth grimacing life ripping finger. It actually contains fierce curse energy. Suddenly, I feel dizzy. Quick, I need support. I'm dizzy. I'm falling. Long Chen started to totter. So Shen Chen Fen came to support him. Long Chen groaned. How insidious. My elbow. Ow. My hips. Ah. My waist. It's doomed. This wound. There's no way for me to recover without 550,000 points. Elder Long. Please. Get justice for me. I was helping you when I was injured. So this is a work injury. You have to support me. Seeing Long Chen fake being injured. The pockmarked elder's face was twitching. He had never seen such a shameless person. He had clearly been the one to beat someone else and was now acting like the injured party. Both the heaven elders and the disciples were dumbfounded. Their eyes had been opened to the world. Elder Long's mouth opened several times, but no words came out. Every time he opened his mouth he felt like laughter would come out, so he could only close his mouth and nod. All right, this matter can end here. Long Chen, we've held eight joint hearings in the past, and we only seek the truth. Thousands of warriors have lost their lives this time, and that is no small matter. This matter must be investigated to give an explanation to the dead. You don't need to worry about us accusing someone innocent. So, I hope you can be cooperative. After all, the Starfield Divine World is about to be opened, and the Dark Era will be following. Time is very precious to all of us, so wasting time is killing ourselves. The white-haired elder finally spoke up. Although his face was icy without the slightest air of a smile, his tone was not forceful. Long Chen immediately stood straight and gave him a thumbs up. Senior is wise. These words are correct. Suddenly, I feel like my injuries have healed quite a bit. If others could speak like you, then we would definitely be able to discuss things properly. The white-haired elder smiled ever so slightly and looked at the pockmarked elder. The pockmarked elder looked from Long Chen to Yi Ling Feng. Although Yi Ling Feng's face was too swollen for the others to see his expression, it was definitely not a good one. Yi Ling Feng, why did you go to the 8th Legion's camp? Asked the pockmarked elder, reporting to Senior. We had just taken some losses and were in a rush to make up for them. In our carelessness, we were suddenly surrounded by demonic beasts. When we heard that the 8th Legion was making an attempt to reclaim their camp, we were trapped near them. We wanted to warn them about the mass numbers of demonic beasts nearby so that they could retreat. But who would have thought? Long Chen actually betrayed us, cried Yi Ling Feng. Long Chen sneered at him. Can you use your brain when lying? Do you think everyone is as stupid as you? Why were you surrounded by demonic beasts in the first place? Wasn't it because you were intentionally drawing them over? It was an accident. We didn't realize we were surrounded until it was too late said Yi Ling Feng firmly. Then tell me, what were those nine tracks of bloody corpses nearby there for? Was it not because you attacked nine regions of demonic beasts to draw them over? Although you tried to clean it up afterward, there were definitely nine tracks. I've already had people record them. Here, I'll show everyone. Long Chen activated a photographic jade, revealing nine bloody marks left on the ground. They were like nine rivers of blood all pointed toward the 8th Legion's camp. Yi Ling Feng's expression changed. Although he had tidied up afterward, it wasn't possible to cover it all up. The blood that soaked into the ground couldn't be instantly cleaned up. A hole had just been poked in his story. Yi Ling Feng, how brazen. You dared to lure demonic beasts to harm others, shouted the pockmarked elder. It's not my fault. Long Chen was the one who harmed me first. I was forced to counterattack. Yi Ling Feng had no choice but to do his best to drag Long Chen down with him. Hey, what are you saying? Is there proof? Asked Long Chen. You, Yi Ling Feng was speechless. Long Chen had done things so cleanly that there was no proof to be used against him. Going crazy, Yi Ling Feng declared. The Eighth Legion has broken the laws of the divine families. When we were in crisis, you refused to help us. You even banged drums and gongs to celebrate your own success instead of helping us. As the leader, 
you must be executed having been the one to draw so many demonic beasts over and have so many warriors die. He was definitely dead. He could only grasp onto this one weak point of Long Chen's to have the slightest hope of living. Was there such a thing? Demanded the pockmarked elder. Everyone from the Third Legion can testify to it, declared Yi Lingfang. The Third Legion's warriors began to give testimony about how Long Chen had started banging drums, playing gongs, and lighting firecrackers. Long Chen, do you have an explanation? asked the pockmarked elder, a glimmer once more appearing in his eyes. What is there to explain? I told you that I was testing ways to fight demonic beasts. I was doing my best to drive the demonic beasts away from you this way, said Long Chen indifferently. What nonsense. That is impossible. The pockmarked elder shook his head. You don't believe me? All right. I'll give you a demonstration. Brothers, perform. Long Chen waved his hand. The Eighth Legion's warriors immediately took out their instruments, creating such a loud clamor that it felt like the entire hall would explode. Everyone felt their heads buzzing. Chapter 2385 What is most important? Translator. Born to be stop. Stop. The pockmarked elder banged his wooden seal. But the sound was drowned out by the clamor that he himself couldn't hear it. Stop. Boom. The elder furiously activated his cultivation base. Resulting in his stone platform shattering. A chi wave spread throughout the hall. Only then did Long Chen and the others stop. The world fell silent, but there was still rumbling in people's ears. It was as if rats were running around in their ears. Quite a few law enforcement disciples were unable to endure it and ended up vomiting. They knew that they couldn't vomit here, so they ran outside. But in their dizziness, quite a few of them ended up crashing into each other and couldn't make it out. The law enforcement disciples rarely fought in battles. Although their cultivation bases weren't low. Their endurance wasn't high enough to handle this. Long Chen pointed at those disciples. Do you see? I was testing using sound waves to drive away demonic beasts. I have secretly learned some tips from the elusive music Immortal Palace's Zither Fairy. I'm not bragging. This is just the start. I believe that with my talent and the hardworking nature of my brothers, I can use sound waves on the battlefield and drive away demonic beasts without spilling a single drop of blood. At that time, my name would go down in history. Who would dare to look down on me? I would have made a great contribution to the human race. I was using these sound waves to help the Third Legion. If it weren't for us, would they still be standing here? They would probably have turned into beast dung if it weren't for us. What nonsense. This is a random clamor. What use can it have? Raged the pockmarked elder. It has no use? All right, brothers. Work a bit harder. This time we'll show our true skills. 3, 2, 1. Long Chen waved his hand like a conductor. Stop, stop. This time, even the white-haired elder couldn't endure it any longer. We admit that it has some use. Although he wasn't afraid of such sound waves, it was truly irritating to listen to. This was a sacred place not suited for such things. He realized that Long Chen was a crafty fox who had prepared a way out for himself. No one could do anything to him over this. Elder Jiang, you. The pockmarked elder's expression sank. It is meaningless to stay on this topic. Even if Long Chen's sound waves were unable to harm the demonic beasts, they were able to draw some of their attention. It cannot be said that he just watched as they suffered. The white-haired elder sighed. Seeing that, Long Chen felt some praise for him. This elder was quite smart. He had seen through this play of his. If the pockmarked elder continued to argue about the sound waves, Long Chen could play him to his death. In the end, his final excuse was that even if the sound waves weren't an attack, they could lessen the pressure of the third legion. That was better than nothing. If he declared that he hadn't just watched, what could they do? The white-haired elder didn't want to waste time on this, so he stated it directly. He knew that the pockmarked elder was unable to beat Long Chen. There was no way to place this criminal charge on Long Chen. The pockmarked elder asked a few more questions, and Long Chen answered them perfectly. He even had proof to back himself up. All right, this meeting can end here. You can all leave. The white-haired elder finally ended things. The pockmarked elder had tried to find holes in Long Chen's story several times, but Long Chen hadn't given him a chance, causing him to get angry again. 
there was nothing of value to be gained from continuing. Helplessly, the pockmarked elder could only announce the end of the meeting. Everyone left. When everyone was outside, Long Chen saw Yi Lingfeng and patted him on the shoulder. Let me express my sympathy for you. I was going to advise you not to do things to harm others with no benefit to yourself in the future, but it doesn't look like you'll have a future. You should prepare your will. Find a place with Feng Shu and dig a hole. It won't be long before you'll be able to use it. Long Chen, I won't let you off. Yi Lingfeng's face twisted into a sinister expression. You won't let me off as a ghost? In terms of power, you aren't a match for me. In terms of intelligence, well, you don't have any. In your next life, remember to reincarnate with the brain, said Long Chen. He then left with Shen Cheng Feng and the others. They returned to the Long family's territory. The warriors erupted into cheers. Seeing Yi Ling Feng's twisted expression really was satisfying those bastards have always bullied us. Now we've landed a strike back. He, do you think he's going to die? He tried to draw demonic beasts over to kill us and instead it resulted in thousands of his people dying. If he doesn't get executed, it won't be able to placate the people's anger. Thinking of how Yi Ling Feng was going to be executed soon, they were all excited. That fellow was hated by all of them. He had constantly bullied them as much as he could. You're overthinking it. Yi Ling Feng is most likely not going to be executed, said Long Chen. What? After something so big, how can they not execute him? Asked Shen Chen Feng. If he had been the one to do such a thing, he would definitely be executed. Let me put it to you this way. Normally, Yi Ling Feng would definitely be dead. What he did this time was so stupid that there is no cure. The Yi family has no need to protect him. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, said Shen Chen Feng. However, you haven't considered how this is a competition between the Long and Yi families. If Yi Ling Feng is executed while fighting for the Yi family, it would be considered the Long family's victory. That would be a blow to the Yi family's morale. Those in the same position as Yi Ling Feng would probably be afraid for themselves. To make them feel at ease, the Yi family will definitely make sure that Yi Ling Feng survives. They won't let the Long family's victory seem too apparent. I only told him that he would die to anger him. Of course, if he dies from fright, that would be best, said Long Chen. No way. Everyone was disappointed. He wasn't going to die? That made them feel uneasy. That fellow was like a viper that might strike at any moment. However, they recognized that this was reality. Their excitement faded. What are you so dejected for? It's not a bad thing that Yi Ling Feng isn't dying. Long Chen smiled. What do you mean? Shen Chen Feng asked hastily. Since he's not dead, we can keep playing with him. We can play him to death. Think about your current value. Do you need to be afraid of Yi Ling Feng? That's right. We have plenty of points now to equip ourselves. We don't need to be afraid of the third legion. We are also more united and know how to fight with our lives on the line. We don't need to be afraid of them. Every one of the warriors now had a stunning amount of wealth in their hands. Since the investigation had reached this point, it was already their victory. Even if Yi Ling Feng didn't die, they didn't have to give back those points. Despite not being amazingly talented, they had always been fighting with their lives on the line and knew how to work hard. The 8th Legion was about to soar to the point that they no longer needed to fear the 3rd Legion. Elder Long, just as they were talking. Elder Long and the other elder walked over. Shen Cheng Feng and the others hastily bowed. Elder Long said, The parliament's conclusion is more or less done. Yi Ling Feng didn't make any mistakes with his strategy. Instead, it was a vice commander whose orders were wrong, resulting in a calamity for the third legion. The warriors looked at each other with bitter smiles. Long Chen was right. The Yi family had pushed all the responsibility onto a vice commander to save Yi Ling Feng. Elder Long continued, Yi Ling Feng is to be punished with 300 flogs and imprisoned for three days. He will be demoted to vice commander. Long Chen smiled. Elder Long, I don't care about his death. What I want to know is will there be a reward for the 8th Legion after fighting so bravely and gaining so much merit despite the danger to their own lives. Shen Cheng Feng and the others looked down in embarrassment. They hadn't done anything during this time, let alone risking their lives. Of course, it is definitely going to be a bountiful reward. 
I will give it to you all directly. Long Chen, the deputy elder wishes to see you, so you should go, said Elder Long with a smile. Long Chen followed the path that Elder Long indicated, and he arrived at the peak of a spirit mountain. The deputy elder was sitting all alone, looking at a distant mountain range as if in deep thought. Long Chen, what is most important in your heart? The deputy elder sighed without looking back. Chapter 2386 The Probing of the Deputy Elder Translator Born to be Long Chen hadn't expected the deputy elder to suddenly ask him such a question. It was incomprehensible, feeling to be both a random and a serious question. In my heart, the most important thing is my family, said Long Chen. Oh, and what is this family of yours? asked the deputy elder. My father, my mother my brothers, and my sisters, said Long Chen. Then if there was a conflict between them, and you could only stand on one side, how would you choose? The deputy elder finally turned to look at Long Chen. Such a thing cannot occur. Why not? Things are always changing. Who can guarantee what might happen in the future? If they end up fighting like water and fire, how would you choose? Asked the deputy elder once more with a smile. Long Chen also smiled. It is impossible. Even if anything might happen in the future, our hearts won't change. My family is tied to me. As long as I don't die, those ties will not be destroyed. That is why I am sure that such a conflict will not occur. Because I am me. Ha ha ha. A nice phrase. You are you. Those words are truly arrogant. I remember someone else who said such things. But regretfully the deputy elder sighed. Long Chen's heart started pounding hard. He asked. Regretfully what? Did that person end up in a bad place? The deputy elder shook his head. We've gone off topic. It's just that you really give off a similar feeling to him. We should get back to reality. This time, you did very well. However, your moves. Can you not be more? Above board. The deputy elder looked at Long Chen with a mixed expression. His original goal was for Long Chen to display superior strategy and tactics to prove that he was capable of leading an army. However, Long Chen had instead used little tricks to con someone. That wasn't honorable. A victory was a victory, but it would definitely be denounced by others. It wouldn't be able to convince them of his skills. Long Chen shook his head. My father taught me that the battlefield is not for games. All techniques and tricks are allowed as long as they led to victory. To win with the fewest sacrifices is the true way of a commander. Those who sacrifice their people are second rate. True experts have a group of brothers around them to share their victory. They aren't aloof people who enjoy the glory won from their brother's blood. Those people are trash. The deputy elder was moved. Your father's words are quite correct. Hearing the deputy elder praise his father felt better to Long Chen than being praised himself. Long Shiang Xiao had been his idol from childhood. In his heart, Long Shiang Xiao was a hero on the same level as a sovereign. Although Long Shiang Xiao's cultivation base wasn't high, he had his own comprehension. In the Wine God Palace, his insight and wisdom had always been something that Long Chen admired. Many thanks for seniors' praise. My father has been a great influence on me, and I would never dare to forget one bit of his teachings. A lion of a father will not raise a dog of a son. For a little marquee from the secular world to raise a genius capable of shaking heaven and earth is surprising. Although it was naturally thanks to your own effort, I believe that your father's influence cannot be overstated. No wonder I hear that you rarely encountered bottlenecks on your cultivation path. Your heart has long since entered the realm of nether passage, praised the deputy elder. Yes, my father is not a true cultivator, but his wisdom has greatly aided me. Even after I stepped into the cultivation world, I have to listen to his teachings, said Long Chen humbly. I have heard rumors that your parents did not birth you. With their aptitude, it would be impossible to give birth to a genius like you. But those people don't know that while natural talent is important, the quality of the heart is even more important. Talent can be made up for, and a person's heart can create miracles. There have been such cases throughout history. I'm amazed to see one of them in person, said the deputy elder. However, in that moment, Long Chen felt a strange sensation as if some energy was peering into his body. It had come. Long Chen knew that the deputy elder was testing him. After all, his origins were truly suspicious. 
A dragon could only be born from a dragon. A marquee in the secular world with a cultivation base only in the tendon transformation realm and a secular woman with no understanding of talent could not possibly give birth to a genius like Long Chen Novaloon.com as his cultivation base grew. More people were suspicious of his origins. Things could not be as simple as they appeared, but they could only guess, as there was no proof. For the deputy elder to bring up something like this meant that he was probing him. Long Chen shook his head. In truth, my talent was mediocre. I was born premature and weak. It wasn't easy just to survive. As a child, I was plagued with illness and bullied. But at the very least, that tempered my will. My lucky break came in the Jiuli secret realm where I coincidentally obtained a bead that changed my life. That heavenly bead changed my constitution, completely changing my fate. However, without my father's teachings, the sudden increase in power very likely would have made me lose myself. So his wisdom has immensely benefited me. After finishing, Long Chen clearly felt that strange sensation fade. The deputy elder had clearly been wanting to see if Long Chen was lying. With his cultivation base, sensing Long Chen's spiritual fluctuations, the quickening of his blood, the rhythm of his breathing, and other factors was easy. Theoretically, Long Chen shouldn't have been able to sense this probe, but the nine-star hegemon body art was extremely sensitive to such things. Perhaps the deputy elder had concluded that Long Chen wasn't lying, so he retracted his probing. You are correct. Talent can be changed, but the right mindset is difficult to cultivate. As your cultivation base grows, the yardstick upon which you judge the world changes. You find errors in your past judgments. Theories and conclusions are constantly being overthrown in the cultivation world as a result. The more you learn, the less you know, said the deputy elder. Senior is wise, praised Long Chen, ignoring whether the deputy elder was a friend or foe. This viewpoint was truly admirable. The deputy elder laughed. At such a young age, you possess such a cultivation base and yet are not consumed by arrogance. That is also admirable I have no other choice. Without a powerful backer, I can't be arrogant. Otherwise, I might also be consumed, said Long Chen humbly. The deputy elder smiled. Let us speak of the Starfield Divine World. The connection has been formed and a path can be opened in three days. The Long family promised that you would be able to bring the entire Dragonblood Legion inside. However, things have changed. Long Chen's expression instantly sank. What was going on? Was the Long family going back on their word? Don't misunderstand. The Dragonblood Legion will still be allowed in, said the deputy elder hastily. Then what changed? Originally, just creating a path to the Starfield Divine World was very difficult. However, Perhaps it is because of the dark era coming, but the spatial walls have started to weaken. It was much easier to create the connection this time. We have found that we no longer need to limit the number of people entering. That is why I must apologize to you, said the deputy elder. Originally, the plan was that a single sect or power could have at most 500 spots to enter the Starfield Divine World. That was why people had been jealous that the entire Dragonblood Legion could enter. That matter had caused quite the fuss even within the divine families. Several meetings had been held, with the Yi family in particular opposing this plan. However, now there was no need to limit people. This accident caught them off guard. For the Long family, it meant that asking Long Chen to guard against the Yun Yang world on his own for three days had been for nothing. Even if he hadn't, he still would have gotten the award that they had promised him. That truly felt like a scam but this was something that they hadn't expected. Hence, Long Chen could only helplessly accept. Fine, I'll just treat it as the heavens playing a joke on me. It really is a bad joke. But no one could have predicted this. Since this matter was started by the Long family, we are going to give you a crystal card with 300,000 points on it. You can go to the treasury to buy what you want. It can count as a bit of compensation the deputy elder handed Long Chen a crystal card. It was an accident. How could I accept? Although that was what came out of Long Chen's mouth, the crystal card had entered his pocket. 300,000 points. That was a shocking amount. It just so happened that Long Chen was interested in what the divine families had. You can go now. 
The Starfield Divine World has its own dangers. You'll definitely find things that can help you in the treasury, said the deputy elder. Long Chen nodded and left. One of the Long family's disciples guided him, and he entered a transportation formation. After the transportation formation activated and he walked out, he just so happened to see a group of people walking by. Seeing one of them, with almost no hesitation at all, Long Chen raised his hand and slapped him. Did I say you could not wear a hat? Chapter 2387 Yi's Hiking Translator Born to be that person was the son of the head of the ancient family alliance, Di Fang. He had just walked over to the transportation formation and was talking with the people beside him when someone came out of the transportation formation. Before he could even see who that person was, his face stung and he was sent flying. Long Chen Seeing that Long Chen was the one who had just come out of the transportation formation, Di Feng was shocked. He hadn't expected to encounter him here. Haha, <laughs> it's been a long time, Di Feng. Even after so long, I see that your cultivation base hasn't grown, but your face has certainly thickened. My hand hurts. Long Chen shook his head, staring at Di Feng in amazement. This transportation formation was one of the central formations connected to various transportation formations throughout the divine families. Hence, there were quite a few people nearby, and they looked over at the disturbance, staring in shock at them. Long Chen, how dare you run rampant amongst the divine families? Are you looking down on the divine families suddenly? A middle-aged man walked out of the group that was with DefendNovelune.com Just this is called running rampant? That means that you don't understand me. You don't even know how amazing I look when I really run rampant, said Long Chen. Long Chen, you killed my son and still dare to run over to the divine families. Let me see just how long you can stay alive here, cursed the woman. Your son? Who are you? asked Long Chen. You. The woman's face twisted. She was Di Long's wife, as well as Di Xin's mother. Back then, Long Chen had killed Di Xin right in front of her. Now that he was acting like he didn't recognize her, her fury soared. My son was Di Xin. Long Chen, I will not permit you to live in this world. As long as I, Yi's Hai King, exist amongst the divine families, I swear you will not have a peaceful day. If you're smart, you'll immediately scram back to the martial heaven continent. Then you might live a bit longer. Long Chen now understood why the Yi family was so against him. It seemed that it was caused by this woman. But then when he thought about it further, that didn't make sense either. How could a woman who had married out into one of the Martial Heaven Continent's families have any status amongst the Yi family? How could she influence her entire family's position? Long Chen shook his head. I'm not smart. So I think I'll stay here and see what tricks you have up your sleeves. Long Chen felt that it was odd that Di Feng would appear here and that Di Xin's mother would be with him. In terms of names. Di Feng had to call her mother as well. Di Feng had great restraint and most likely curried this woman's favor. Had he really managed to enter the Yi family thanks to playing on Di Xin's mother's hatred for Long Chen? If that was the case, then there really would be something to play with. Who is causing a ruckus here and being disrespectful to seniors hiking? Just at this moment, a large man walked in, wearing golden armor. That was the armor of the heavenly dragon Legion and the number two was marked on it. He was the vice commander of the second legion. This man actually bowed slightly to Di Xin's mother before turning to Long Chen and frowning. Are you that newcomer who likes to cause trouble? Long Chen, do you have any teachings? Asked Long Chen. I am warning you. This is the divine families not the martial heaven continent. Having come here, you had best follow the rules. Don't provoke a calamity. Many people already don't like you. Understand, I don't care if people don't like me. If people don't like me, why are they constantly coming to me? Do they have an illness? Sneered Long Chen. Ignoring the large man, he walked away. When passing Di Feng, he coldly said, My mood's pretty good today, so I'll leave your head on your neck. When my mood isn't good, or maybe when it's too good, I'll remove it for you. Today, his time was precious. Long Chen walked off. Wanting to maintain his good mood from getting to look at the divine family's treasury. You are too arrogant the large man's expression sank. And he suddenly grabbed Long Chen's chest. 
He was surprised to find that Long Chen didn't dodge, allowing him to grab his collar. Sneering and assuming that Long Chen didn't even have the ability to dodge, he was about to pull him down when a hand grabbed his wrist and pulled him into the air. With a grip on his wrist, Long Chen slammed him into the ground. The hard bricks were supported by a formation, but this smash still left cracks in them. The large man hacked up blood. He hadn't started circulating his spiritual yuan or summoned his manifestation. After all, this wasn't the place for a big fight. He had just wanted to teach Long Chen a little lesson. As a result, he was injured from the impact due to having no protection. I've been arrogant for a while now. So what? You don't like me so you want to put me in my place? Unfortunately, you don't have the ability to do so, sneered Long Chen. Those who wished to fight in close range with him had to be unafraid of death. His combat experience had been built up through fighting on the battlefield, but this vice commander's power was also not bad. After all, someone who could become the vice commander of the second legion had to be powerful. However, the warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Legion were used to fighting enemies of other races. As a result, their experience against human opponents was a far cry from Long Chen's. In one move, he was subdued. The surrounding people's jaws dropped. This sudden turn had caught them by surprise. Things looked to be over before the fight even started. The vice commander was lying on the ground, still hacking up blood. Although he wasn't dead, his injuries did not seem light. Long Chen patted his hands a few times as if he had just done something insignificant. He was about to leave when a mass of heavenly dragon warriors surrounded him. There were hundreds of them. You dare to humiliate our second legion? Do you really think you can leave just like this? Barked one of the warriors. What? Are you going to treat me to a meal? Or are you trying to extort money from me? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. Someone helped up the vice commander. With his breath back. He began circulating his spiritual yuan, quickly healing. Long Chen, you are looking down on the divine families. Do you think no one can control you here? Shouted Yi's Hai King. The surrounding experts of the divine families twitched. Yi's Hai King was quite insidious to try creating hostility between Long Chen and the divine families. Long Chen looked at her and shook his head. Don't play this game with me. I'm here to look at the treasury. As for the person I slapped, he's not a member of the Divine Families. How did this end up becoming me provoking the Divine Families? As expected, it must be thanks to you that Di Xin was raised into an idiot. Long Chen didn't know her status, but he knew she was nothing good. He didn't want to stay here any longer. Also, fighting with an old vixen put him at a loss no matter what happened. However, as he tried to leave, swords came out of their sheaths. The heavenly dragon warriors pointed their weapons at Long Chen. Long Chen's expression sank. Those who have pointed their weapons at me have all died. If you're in a rush, I can do the same for you. Long Chen's killing intent began to leak out. Without realizing it, his blood was heating up. After his last tribulation, Long Chen definitely felt a subtle change in his body. He was becoming easier to anger and wanted to kill more and more. His control was slipping. With people pointing their swords at him, he felt his killing intent ignite. He didn't know if it was his own anger or the pill sovereign's will. In any case, his killing intent started to spread. These warriors that had fought on the battlefield for years suddenly felt themselves turn ice cold. They felt that what they were facing was not a man, but a death god. Furthermore, this death god was in the midst of raising his scythe to reap all their lives. Their nerves tightened and sweat dripped down their foreheads and backs. Their swords began to shudder. In all their lives, they had never seen someone with such strong killing intent. It was like Long Chen was an envoy from hell who had come to take people's souls. Yi's Hai King watched as Long Chen suppressed everyone just like this. She sneered. Long Chen, who do you think you're trying to scare? Do you think a little bit of killing intent is enough to frighten the warriors of the divine families? I refuse to believe that you would dare to kill someone within the territory of the divine families. With your cultivation base, you're just a speck of dust to the divine families. Someone who can be wiped out with the wave of a hand. The warriors of the heavenly dragon Legion are true men who have fought through blood and fire. Give up your intimidation tactic. That's right. You can't scare us. Today, 
If you don't admit your mistake here, don't even think about leaving. Those warriors toughened up. If someone wanted to die, no one could stop them. Long Chen snorted inside. Evil Moon appeared in his hand. Seeing that, Yi's High King smiled sinisterly. Chapter 2388 The High-Spirited Shen Chen Feng Translator Born to be since you all want to die, don't blame me. Despite knowing it was a trap, and an extremely childish and simple one at that, Long Chen jumped in. Regardless of knowing that it would make him a brainless idiot, the will inside him refused to allow him to avoid this. He had to charge through it. Evil Moon slowly collected power. Are you competing in numbers here? Just at this moment, a familiar voice rang out. Shen Chen Feng and the entire Eighth Legion came rushing over. One sword after another came out of their sheaths as they surrounded the warriors of the Second Legion. After consecutive victories, the Eighth Legion was no longer spiritless. They were like honed blades shining with their own light. Shen Chen Feng, what are you intending? demanded the vice commander of the Second Legion. What am I intending? Can you not tell? We're intending the same thing as the swords in your hands. Long Chen is the current general of my Eighth Legion, and even I as the commander have to listen to him. You want to assault my general and then ask me what I'm intending, said Shen Chen Feng without a care. Shen Chen Feng seemed to have completely transformed from his past cautious self. Now his words contained powerful confidence. After Long Chen had gone to see the deputy elder, Elder Long had spoken to Shen Chen Feng alone. He had asked him if he now understood. Shen Chen Feng had nodded, and Elder Long patted his shoulder, saying that the Long family needed people who were useful. Although loyalty was precious, someone loyal but useless wasn't worth the Long family spending a great deal of effort on raising. Through Long Chen's display and Elder Long's direct advice this time, Shen Chen Feng now understood what he needed to do. He also understood his own trump card. Long Chen was disrespectful to seniors hiking, and I am asking him to apologize. What is wrong with that? shouted the vice commander. Inside, he was surprised by Shen Chen Feng's change. The Shen Chen Feng he was familiar with would never talk like this. Even if Long Chen was wrong to be disrespectful to seniors hiking, it would be a matter for the heaven executioner. When did a little vice commander gain the authority to punish others? asked Shen Chen Feng. He turned to Long Chen. Brother Long, don't bother yourself with people like them. You'd just bring down your own mood. It just so happens I need your help with something. Long Chen smiled and put away Evil Moon. He left with Shen Chen Feng. The second legion didn't dare to stop them. With the swords of the eighth legion pointing at them, their hearts were uneasy. Di Feng and Yi's High King could only watch as they left. Yi's High King's eyes were full of rancor. Just now, she had just been a bit away from getting Long Chen killed. If Long Chen had killed someone here, then not even the Long family would be able to protect him. But it had been ruined by Shen Chen Feng. M Mom, don't be angry. I swear that I will definitely kill Long Chen and avenge Brother Shin. Long Chen will definitely die to my hands in the future. Comforted Di Feng. Feng Er, you're a good child. Don't worry, my Yi family will fully support you. With your talent and the Yi family's financial power, killing Long Chen isn't something difficult, said Yi's High King. Di Feng nodded, a sneer deep within his eyes. He held Yi's High King's arm and left. Yi's High King didn't even look at the Vice Commander. That Vice Commander could only bring his people away with a dark expression. Just who is that woman? Why do you have to call her senior? asked Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng said. Amongst the divine family's main bloodline are those born with exceptionally pure bloodlines, and they are all called senior. As for seniors hiking, she was truly talented with a strong bloodline. However, due to her willful character, she had no heart to cultivate, wasting all that potential. The Yi family's higher-ups were extremely angry about that. They tried to force her to cultivate, only for seniors hiking to run off to the martial heaven continent in a rage. Somehow, she ended up falling for Di Long. The ancient family alliance originally had a certain connection to the Yi family, and later it was learned that Seniors High King was pregnant. The Yi family's higher-ups almost executed her in a rage. However, they are family in the end, so they couldn't do it. The matter ended up passing just like that, with Seniors High King staying on the continent the whole time. 
This scandal ended up slowly forgotten. However, one day, Senior Zhai King came back. Her son was killed by you. So she wanted the Yi family to get justice for her son. But that still wasn't the time for the divine families to enter the continent. So it was set aside. This is why the Yi family is targeting you. Long Chen nodded. So that's the case. Hey, wait. You said they were family? Just how close of a family seniors hiking is the great-granddaughter of the Yi family's head. Her cultivation base isn't high, but her status isn't low. Ah, that Yi Yeochen. He is her older half-brother from her father's side, said Shen Chengfeng. No wonder she has so much influence. Di Long really has some abilities to pull in such a large backer. Then the ancient family alliance has received the Yi family's support starting from many years ago. Is that why the Mo family was forced out of the ancient family alliance? Asked Long Chen. The Mo family had once followed the blood emperor along with the Di family. Later, after the blood emperor died, it was originally the Mo family who had taken over looking after the ancient family alliance. But the Di family had suddenly brought up false charges against the Mo family, uniting with the descendants of the blood emperor to expel the Mo family. The Mo family was almost destroyed overnight. Was it possible that it was after the Blood Emperor died that the Yi family had started to infiltrate the ancient family alliance and try to take control? Perhaps this was related to how Yi's High King had ended up falling for someone like Di Long when the Martial Heaven continent was filled with other men. Perhaps the ancient family alliance could be considered a branch of the Yi family. I don't know. Shen Chengfeng shook his head. Something on that level was confidential. He wasn't qualified to know. Within the divine families, knowing too much wasn't a good thing. All right then. Didn't you already leave? Why are you back? Asked Long Chen. He, we were looking for you. We have quite a few points, but the items within the treasury are too dazzling. When we were poor, we wanted money. Now that we have money, we don't know how to spend it. There are all kinds of things to buy but we don't know what the best ones are. We don't want to waste it on something that won't strengthen us, said Shen Chengfeng. The Eighth Legion had gained a huge amount of wealth, but they wanted to stretch each point that they had earned. When they had entered the treasury, they had been too dazzled to even decide on what they wanted. That was why they wanted to hear Long Chen's opinion, resulting in them coming to look for him and seeing him surrounded by the Second Legion. Shen Chengfeng had immediately interrupted them. If Long Chen killed someone here, that would be extremely troublesome. That would be a slap in the divine family's faces. Even if the Long family wanted to protect him, they wouldn't have a good excuse to do so. How many points do you have? Asked Long Chen. We've exchanged everything we gained in the last battle for points, resulting in 1,200,000 points. The Long family also rewarded us with 300,000 points. So we have a total of 1,500,000 points. The Eighth Legion has never before seen such wealth, laughed Shen Chengfeng. The entire Eighth Legion had been rewarded 300,000 points, while Long Chen had also been awarded 300,000 points. It seemed that this reward really wasn't small. Let's go take a look then, said Long Chen. Shen Chengfeng had the warriors stand guard outside. He only brought in his two vice commanders along with Long Chen. They followed the path forward. Next, they stepped onto a bridge leading into the center of a giant stone mountain. The entire mountain was adorned with runes across every speck of it. There were guards standing on the bridge, keeping a watch over them. This is the only treasury inside of the divine families. All the divine families experts come here to buy things that they need. This is an important place. So Long Chen, try to reserve yourself a bit, warned Shen Chengfeng. After knowing Long Chen for so long, he had gained an understanding of his temper. When he was calm, he could toy with his enemies. When he lost that calm, he became a madman, and any intelligence decided to cut its ties with him. Just now, the matter with Yi's high king had been very dangerous. Shen Chengfeng was somewhat unable to understand what Long Chen was thinking by jumping into that trap. Don't worry, I won't easily attack, promised Long Chen, unless I can't hold back. Chapter 2389 The Divine Family's Treasury Translator Born to be as they walked across the bridge, 
Quite a few people looked toward Long Chen. It was surprising to see someone who wasn't wearing the robes of the divine families here. Outsiders were rarely allowed to enter this place. Those gazes weren't very friendly, but neither were they hostile. Perhaps these people didn't know who he was. Shen Chen Feng and the two vice commanders stuck close to Long Chen, afraid of him doing something. Long Chen sighed inside at what he saw. This place was truly worthy of being the treasury of the divine families. The inside of the mountain had been fully excavated and turned into a tower with dozens of levels. The inside was like a shop in the secular world. However, it wasn't as noisy as in the secular world's markets. The people inside were all minding their own business, walking hurriedly with their heads down. These people weren't here for sightseeing. They immediately left after buying what they wanted. Large items like war chariots are found on the lowest level. Do you want to go take a look and help give us ideas? Probed Shen Chen Feng. All right, let's take a look. Long Chen nodded. Since Shen Chen Feng and the others had asked him to come here, he would put aside his own matters temporarily. They arrived at the bottom level. This place was no different from above. It still looked like a giant store, except on a larger scale. Every item was hundreds of meters in size. There was one area with giant stone platforms, and war chariots were displayed on each of them. Those war chariots were not just models. They were true war chariots. The formations on the stone platforms shrank them from their original size. There was no introduction written on top of the stone platforms. There were attendants around, but they were all icy. They didn't even look at the customers. Only when someone needed them would they do their duty of exchanging their points and give them a certificate for the warehouse to bring out an item. There was no such thing as bargaining here, nor was there any chance of anyone stealing something. These people were merely in charge of exchanging the points. They were apathetic. Long Chen, this model is the one that Ji Lingfeng had. The price is a hundred thousand points. It is a flexible item capable of offense and defense. Chariots like this that can fly through space are absolute treasures. They aren't just a powerful killing weapon but also proof of status and power. Let's look at the others. Long Chen didn't reply directly. Long Chen looked through the wares, seeing many war chariots, ballistas, and cannons. He even saw the divine dragon tyrant crossbow. Every item he saw was a supreme killing item with terrifying power. There was not one person who wouldn't want them. However, after looking through them all, Long Chen asked, Why don't you tell me your own thoughts? We are thinking of getting eight chariots. We have eight large fighting squads, so each of them can have one. We have another two squads, and I'm preparing to get them a god-slaying cannon and a heavenly shield formation that will multiply the power of the eighth legion. Even compared to the third legion, our power would not be lacking, said Shen Chen Feng confidently. However, Using these tools will increase the costs of each fight, said Long Chen. We've considered this. Only a large investment can bring the greatest rewards. We can increase our hunting range and kill more demonic beasts, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen nodded. Yes, you factored in the battle costs. But there is one cost that you did not factor in. What factor? The cost to the people. Shen Chen Feng looked at him oddly. What do you mean? Long Chen hesitated. Looking around and seeing no one else around, he said, Fine, since you've taken me as a brother, I'll tell you. After obtaining such a powerful support, will the Eighth Legion's warriors still possess the same courage to face death as they have now? Money can be a double-sided blade. If you master it, it can be used as a sharp weapon and allow you to soar. But if you can't control it, you become a puppet to it. You become reliant on it, and your will is slowly ground down. Normally, going from poor to rich takes a long time, and you will get used to it. But people with overnight success haven't gone through that process. Their wealth pulls them into a bottomless abyss. None of your ideas are wrong, but you have not taken into account how it will affect yourselves. Once things are comfortable and easy, the Eighth Legion's power will soon collapse. This, Shen Chen Feng began to sweat. The vice commanders also felt a chill. They truly had felt like the newly rich. They wanted to quicken their pace, but now they thought about where this money had come from. Had not it been the result of Long Chen bringing them along in a con? They had money now but what about in the future? What about when Long Chen wasn't here? 
Would things go so smoothly all the time? Long Chen solemnly said. There is something else. No matter who you're working for, make sure to think about yourself as well. Even if you have to be a chess piece, you have to consider the entire board and leave yourself a way out. Suddenly soaring in power will turn you into a sharp blade to be used. But no matter how sharp the blade, if struck too many times, it can still shatter. Don't wait until you're too damaged to do anything to realize this, because then it will be too late. Another blade will replace you. If you don't want to be abandoned, maintain your sharpness. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I don't quite understand. Can you explain it more directly? Asked one of the vice commanders. Long Chen was speechless. Was he supposed to directly say that the Long family was using them, and if they weren't useful enough, they could easily be discarded? It was just like Yi Lingfeng's vice commander who had been sacrificed. It was because he didn't bring them enough value. Shen Chen Feng understood. These words had surpassed the scope of a friend. If the Long family were to learn that Long Chen was telling them these things, they wouldn't like it. However, Long Chen had still told them, treating them as brothers. This warning contained great meaning and was an alarm to him. I understand. Long Chen, what should we do then? Asked Shen Chen Feng. Buy one chariot. That thing can save your lives at a critical moment. The rest should be spent on raising each person's individual power. Don't let our brothers get so arrogant that their tails raise all the way into the heavens. Otherwise, the next time someone's slapped in the face, it will be you. The Eighth Legion's current strongest point is your cohesiveness and the spirit to refuse to admit defeat. If they have nothing stopping their arrogance, you'll have to set up something yourself. It's not always a good thing for your steps to be big. Steadiness while maintaining everyone's passion will allow you to stay sharp, said Long Chen. Shen Chen Feng nodded. I understand. We'll buy one war chariot. Half will be spent on pills, weapons, and armor, while the remaining half can be saved for a reward system for the brothers that do outstanding work. Haha, <laughs> if they do well enough, I might just give them my commander spot. Long Chen smiled. Shen Chen Feng had finally understood. Long Chen hoped that he would remember these words, as they might be able to save his life one day. After all, the interior of the divine families was extremely complicated. Shen Chen Fen quickly went to buy his items. Furthermore, he only bought the armor that was one level higher than the warrior's current armor. He would raise his legion one step at a time. Long Chen didn't follow him when he went to buy the weapons and armor. Instead, he went for his own stroll. He wasn't interested in these large items. Although they were powerful, they weren't too useful. The war chariot required hundreds or even thousands of people to use. They were too awkward to use properly. The Dragonblood Legion wouldn't play with something like that. However, as he strolled through the treasury, he activated a photographic jade from inside the primal chaos space. Although there was no way to see the secrets in the core. Just what was present on the surface was definitely enough to benefit Guo Ran and Xia Chen. No one bothered him as he strolled through the wares. After spending around an hour in the area of the large-scale weapons, Long Chen went up to the floor with the medicinal pills. It was packed with people unlike the bottom floor. As expected, the divine families have alchemists capable of refining top grade 11th tier pills. Based on their auras, they were refined within the last three years. Long Chen saw a medicinal pill on a sales counter that showed off the power of the divine families. On the Martial Heaven continent, each top grade pill was something countless people fought for but were still unable to buy. But here, there were counters filled with them. That was a bit frightening. Was this to say that the divine families were even more skilled in alchemy than Pill Valley? Long Chen squeezed through the crowds. He found that the area ahead was much emptier. That was because this was the area for 12th tier pills. Damn, one pill is over 30,000 points. Seeing a star cloud soul nourishing pill, a top grade 12th tier pill, Long Chen was gobsmacked. Three pills were equivalent to a war chariot? No wonder there were so few people here. The seven star soul fixing pill. This is also to nourish the soul. Divinity star raising pill. This is used for strengthening astral spaces. That's quite rare. This is, Long Chen saw quite a few 12th tier pills on display. Those pills were non-existent on the Martial Heaven continent. 
Perhaps Pill Valley did possess them, but they were hidden. The various pills amazed Long Chen. There were hundreds of kinds. At the end was the area for medicinal ingredients. That was his real target. But he had just arrived and started to appraise the medicinal ingredients present when a quivering voice rang out. Big Brother Long Chen. Chapter 2390 Young Master Yi Qian Translator. Born to be the voice was a bit familiar. Long Chen looked over to see a pretty young lady looking at him with wet eyes. Wang Qing, you're here. Long Chen was surprised to see her here. When they stood facing each other, Long Chen wanted to rub her head. But the current Wang Qing was no longer a little girl. So such an action was a bit inappropriate. Pill Valley is exchanging some pointers with the divine families. I'm here to purchase some precious ingredients. I just had a discussion with the Grand Master Alchemists of the Divine Families, and then I came here. Wan Qing looked at Long Chen emotionally. There was happiness but also bitterness within her eyes. She didn't come, asked Long Chen. Wan Qing shook her head. She has been in seclusion the entire time. It was supposed to be her coming here for the alchemy discussion, but she refused. The Valley Master was helpless to order her, so he sent me. With how skilled the alchemists of the divine families are, I feel like I've lost face for Pill Valley. More tears appeared in her eyes. This time, she had suffered quite a bit during the alchemy discussion. Although she had reached an extremely high realm in alchemy, compared to the Pill Fairy, she lacked maturity. After all, she wasn't the daughter of the Valley Master. Their starting points were completely different. Although the Pill Fairy had taken her in later, her foundation was naturally weaker. The divine families wanted to compare who is more skilled, asked Long Chen with surprise. Not exactly a comparison but simply an exchange of insights. They truly are powerful. The most frightening thing is that the one to exchange pointers with me was a young disciple who had his own special insights on alchemy. It could even be said that he is capable of blazing new paths that others have never imagined. In the end, after a simple competition, I ranked second behind him, but I saw that the other three were secretly holding back to let me win. I'm still lacking compared to them, said Wan Qing sadly. Foolish girl, how could you be lacking compared to them? Long Chen shook his head. I, Long Chen waved his hand. Just think about how old you are compared to them. When did you start training compared to them? Where were they born and where were you born? If the positions were switched, they would definitely be inferior to you. He, big brother Long Chen really knows how to talk. Wan Qing smiled slightly. Are you here to buy medicinal ingredients? We can go together. All right, then can you hold my hand just like back then? Asked Wan Qing bashfully. Of course, no matter how much time passes, our relationship won't change. Long Chen smiled and held Wan Qing's little hand. Wan Qing felt the same warmth that she had held back then. He was the same Long Chen. However, some people had changed. Thinking of that, Wan King's eyes reddened. Long Chen stopped and softly stroked her head. There are many things in this world that we can't control. No matter how high our cultivation base, no matter how skilled we are, it doesn't matter. But no matter how the rest of the world changes, we can make sure to keep our hearts the same. Everything else can pass by. Life is short and bitter. So make sure to favor the joy or you won't have anything to get you through the hard times. Even if you lose that happiness in the future, the memories can still be cherished. Wan Qing nodded, slightly comforted. She was about to speak when a group of people walked over. There were over ten of them, all of them wearing violet robes with a pill furnace embroidered on the front of their robes. There was a medicinal pill above the pill furnace made of golden thread, looking like it was radiating light. They had the mark of the divine families on their sleeves. It seemed that they were people from the divine families alchemy division. Who are you? The leader of this group was a young man. Seeing how intimately Long Chen was acting with Wan Qing by rubbing her head, his expression was cold. Wan Qing hastily started to introduce them. Young Master Yi Qian, this is what does who I am have to do with you, demanded Long Chen. Seeing the fury in this person's eyes. How could he not understand what was going on? He couldn't be bothered with such a person. Although this person could count as handsome, the arrogance in his eyes was irritating. It was like there was not a single person worthy of entering his sight within this world. 
You dare to be rude to the leader of the Divine Pill Division? Are you looking to get kicked out of the Divine Family? Shouted a person beside the leader. With how arrogant you are, I suspect you must be the leader of the Divine Families. If you act any bigger, this whole hall might not be able to contain you. Sneered Long Chen. Wang Ching covered up a smile. Long Chen really was the same as back in the day. She had no good feelings toward these geniuses of the Divine Pill Division either. Although they were powerful, they were extremely arrogant. Although they meticulously maintained a certain politeness with their words, their arrogance leaked out heavily. With the way they talked, it was like they felt that everywhere other than the Divine Families was trash. In fact, some of them had been extremely rude when discussing Pill Valley's alchemy arts with her. Wan Qing was reserved and hadn't said anything, but that didn't mean that she wasn't angry with them. Seeing Long Chen going against them, she smiled inside. Her big brother Long Chen was always the bane of bad people. Who are you? demanded Yi Qian, killing intent appearing in his eyes. Yi Qian was the most famous junior alchemist of the divine families. He was highly viewed by the higher ups and his status made it so that he was about on the same level as Feng Fei in terms of reputation. Within the Divine Families, he was the only one who wasn't part of the main bloodlines but had to be called senior. That was evidence of his special status. Yi Qian was known as a once-in-a-millennia alchemy genius. With the Divine Families' support, his alchemy arts were unparalleled. Of course, that description was given to him by himself. In his eyes, the only one who could compare to him was the Pill Fairy. The gathering that Wan Qing had just attended had been held in order to have the Pill Fairy come, but she hadn't. The fact that the Pill Fairy hadn't come had been extremely irritating to them, but Wan Qing with her particular graceful and subdued air had moved their hearts. Yi Qian in particular had never encountered a beautiful woman with a temperament like her. He instantly felt an urge to pursue her. During the discussion, he had made the others allow her to win second place just to give her a good impression. However, this woman he was pursuing was now being so intimate with another man. The most unacceptable thing was that this man was actually viewing him as trash. Within the entirety of the divine families, there were few people who dared to speak to him like this. Even Feng Fei would be polite to him when requesting pills. The anger in Yi Qian's voice drew quite a bit of attention. People were drawn over. Heavens, isn't that Yi Qian of the Divine Pill Division? Why is he here? He wouldn't be bullying someone again. Right. Shut up. You don't want to end up provoking the Divine Pill Division. In just a moment, everyone on this level was drawn over. Even though people were whispering, they had to be careful with what they said. Afraid of offending Yi Qian and the others. Eh? Hey, who is that black-robed person? He's strutting around like he doesn't recognize Yi Qian. What an unlucky fellow. No, he seems a bit familiar. I feel like I've seen him before. Why can't I remember? It's that person from the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen. The people in the Divine Families knew of what was happening on the Martial Heaven continent. The outstanding members of the continent were all known. Some disciples even went to see what was happening on the continent, but most of them didn't pay much attention. In their eyes, the people of the Martial Heaven continent were frogs at the bottom of a well. It took a while for someone to recognize Long Chen. Even Long Chen didn't know that he had ended up being ranked number one on the Divine Family's list for people to watch out for on the continent. Ah, I remember him now. No wonder he's so arrogant. So he's a heavenly genius of the Martial Heaven continent TCH. So what? Having come to the Divine Families, even a tiger has to kneel. This is the territory of dragons. He wants to act arrogant here? His life has probably come to an end. Just as people were discussing this, Shen Chen Feng was drawn over by the disturbance. He instantly turned white when he saw what was happening, and his soul almost leaked out of his body. He rushed over, shouting, Long Chen, you can't kill people here. Chapter 2391 Heaven Gathering Blood Flame Translator Born to be Shen Chen Feng immediately panicked upon seeing Long Chen and Yi Qian in close contact. In his panic, his mouth slipped. He should have said that it was forbidden to fight here, but he ended up directly saying that it was forbidden to kill. Long Chen didn't recognize Yi Qian, but as the commander of the 8th Legion, Shen Chen Feng had to recognize him. If Long Chen's temper flared, 
then Long Chen could take his life in one move. It's a misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding declared Shen Chen Fang. Getting in between them. Let's just leave things be. Things had yet to even start. Allowing Shen Chen Feng to relax slightly. Did Long Chen have one of those legendary constitutions for drawing calamity? It had just been a moment. But he had somehow ended up going against the Divine Pill Divisions Yi Qian. Yi Qian was not an easy figure to find within the Divine Families. He was quite elusive. But Long Chen had ended up running into him so quickly. Who are you? Do you have a place to speak here? Scram! Shouted one of Yi Qian's followers. Shen Chen Feng was wearing his commander robes of the 8th Legion, so it was easy to tell his status. However, that person didn't give a damn about a commander. Shen Chen Feng didn't get angry. For the experts of the Divine Pill Division to not recognize me is normal, but let me express my sympathy for your blindness at such a young age. Shen Chen Feng gestured toward the clear mark on his robes that indicated his position and name. You. You also don't recognize that this is Long Chen, the number one person on the watchlist for the Martial Heaven continent. If it wasn't for me, the Divine Families would be losing some alchemy geniuses today. I will tell you directly that he has killed more people than you have ever seen. Don't say anything about how he'll be killed as well if he kills you. If you really want to die with him, then you can just pretend I didn't say anything and continue as you were, said Shen Chen Feng gesturing for them to continue. He was also angry with these idiots who didn't realize that he had just saved their lives. For alchemists like them who only knew how to refine pills, he could kill them as easily as killing chickens. You are Long Chen. Yi Qian's expression changed. All of them retreated a step. They knew that Long Chen was a devil king, and nothing could restrict him. He killed heavenly geniuses without blinking an eye. His temper was also infamous and he never accepted being threatened. He had done countless things that had shaken the world, along with causing countless calamities to befall him, but none of those calamities had taken his life. It could be said that even throughout the entire history of the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen was the only one who could court death every day and still be living happily. The reason that Yi Qian's expression changed was because Long Chen didn't know him. He, Yi Qian was known by everyone in the divine families, but not to Long Chen. If Long Chen had killed him right at the start, that would be far too sullen of a death. Even if the divine families would then tear Long Chen's corpse to pieces, he wouldn't come back to life. To exchange a life for a life was not worth it for him. Yes, this is Long Chen, the only person in this world that I love. Young Master Yi Qian, I am not blessed enough to receive your feelings. Hopefully. We can end things without any hurt feelings. I trust that with young master Yi Qian's character and talent, countless women would wish to be with you. Due to my heart already belonging to someone else, I hope that young master Yi Qian can forgive me. Wan Qing suddenly curled up against Long Chen's arm, causing Long Chen to stare at her. She wanted him to help her escape her predicament? It seemed that Yi Qian had expressed himself to her. Most likely. She had politely evaded, but Yi Qian had yet to give up. Long Chen? You've fallen for some toad of the Martial Heaven Continent? HMPH. Your vision is lacking, sneered Yi Qian. He was the most talented disciple of the Divine Pill Division, someone with unlimited prospects. Any woman he wanted had never refused him. What? Are you going to turn hostile just because of a rejection? Love must be mutual. Do you think all the women in the world must love you? Someone who thinks like that would be garbage, said Long Chen. Long Chen reached out an arm and placed a hand on Wan Qing's shoulder, pulling her in. Wan Qing leaned her head on his shoulder, intentionally letting Yi Qian see, but acting as if it was natural. In his hold, with his particular scent in her nose, Wan Qing smiled, ignoring the ashen Yi Qian. Long Chen walked over to one of the counters and pointed at an ingredient. Can I see the seven star snow lotus? The attendant put on a pair of particular gloves. She was about to take it out when Yi Qian shouted, Hold it. Long Chen turned back to look at him. What? Do you want it? Yi Qian sneered. I don't want it. I am here to announce a temporary lock on the selling of medicinal ingredients on behalf of the Divine Pill Division. Are you trying to cause trouble? Long Chen looked at Yi Qian and then looked at his own hand. 
He tilted his head and stared closely at Ji Kian's face. He nodded. Your face isn't bad. The shape is excellent not used to Long Chen's way of talking. Yi Qian didn't understand what he was saying. He assumed he was insulting him. Young Master Yi Qian, don't you think you're going too far? This doesn't seem to be the style of the divine families. If such a thing were to be learned by others, what would happen to the image of the divine families demanded Wan Qing. One of the disciples beside Yi Qian shouted, Slut, shut up. This place isn't that disciple didn't even get to finish talking when Long Chen slapped him, sending him flying. This simple slap caused half his face to collapse. He flew in an arc before landing in the distance, unconscious. Every expert gasped. For a moment, the entire hall was silent as they stared at Long Chen. He actually dared to strike someone from the Divine Pill Division here. Furthermore, it was right in front of Yi Qian. Shen Chen Feng's expression had changed as soon as that person had started cursing. He tried to stop Long Chen, but was one step too late. Fuck, your face is really big. Did you think a big face would be enough to protect you from my hand? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen, you are courting death, roared Yi Qian. Shen Chen Feng immediately tried to hold Long Chen back, only for Long Chen to push him aside. Long Chen, don't. Shen Chen Feng's vision flashed. He was thrown off as soon as he grabbed Long Chen's arm. He prayed that Long Chen would hold back at least slightly. Long Chen's hand reached out like a sharp claw, reaching for Yi Qian's throat. Yi Qian snorted and clapped his hands together. A blood-colored light enveloped him. Yi Qian's heaven-gathering blood flame is an inherited flame containing divine energy. It is even capable of incinerating divine weapons. As an alchemist, Yi Qian wasn't experienced with fighting, but his flame was particularly terrifying. Others didn't even dare to touch it. The barrier of fire that he summoned was perfect. His control was extremely skillful. There was not a single weak spot. Yi Qian had absolute confidence in his flame. As long as Long Chen dared to touch it, he would be turned into a roasted pig. Even if he didn't die, he'd be heavily injured. Long Chen's hand slammed into the flame barrier. In that instant, his hand turned the same color as fire. His hand freely passed through it. In front of everyone's stunned gazes, Long Chen grabbed Yi Qian's throat and raised him into the air. Courting death? Who? You? Sneered Long Chen. Suddenly, buzzing passed through the hall. Shen Chen Feng's expression changed. People had set off the alarm. After that, he shoved one of his stunned vice commanders. Quick, report this to Elder Long. The vice commander woke up and hastily rushed away. Shen Chen Feng almost wanted to cry. Elder Long had told him to stay with Long Chen and look after him so that he wouldn't cause trouble. However, after being apart for just a short time, Long Chen had caused a calamity. He didn't even dare to try advising Long Chen to let go, afraid that Long Chen might crush Yi Qian in a rage. Bastard, you are courting death. Release senior apprentice brother Yi Qian, or, one of the disciples roared, only to be kicked away by Long Chen. He coughed up blood and slammed into a stone wall. He slid down, leaving a line of blood on the wall. It was unknown if he was alive or dead. The people of the divine families trembled. Long Chen was really vicious. He didn't have any misjivings about their status. They were finally bearing witness to his domineering side. Long Chen, what do you want? Shouted Yi Qian, shocked and infuriated. It's not what I want. It's what you want. If you want to reincarnate, then just nod. To tell the truth, I'm quite skilled in that, said Long Chen indifferently. Boom. Suddenly, lightning exploded out of Long Chen's body. Rumbling rang out as the lightning ended up shattering some kind of invisible energy. Play a stupid game like that against me again, and I'll kill this idiot. If you don't believe me, just try it. Long Chen appeared in the sky, lightning wings on his back. He was staring coldly at an old man who had appeared at the entrance. Chapter 2392 The Pil Doyen Translator Born to be Elder Long, Long Chen, he he and Yi Qian the vice commander hastily ran into a large palace and tried to make a report. However, halfway through he realized that the deputy elder was present as well. He hastily bowed. Disciple greets the deputy elder. The deputy elder and elder long looked at the vice commander. The deputy elder said, We already know. You can go. 
Yes, the vice commander withdrew. Elder Long sighed. Long Chen's fate truly is strange. He somehow manages to surround himself with enemies without even trying. Do we need to take action this time? The deputy elder shook his head. This isn't the underlying flow of fate. This was arranged by someone. There was a chessboard between the two of them. It was currently displaying the scene of Long Chen grabbing Yi Kian's throat. Lightning continued to flicker around him. Someone arranged it? You mean? Yes. It was them. We don't need to worry about it. Someone else will come out. The one to attack Long Chen just now was Yi Yeo Chen. However, today, his face wasn't as dark as before. Although his hair was still white, his face looked much younger. If Long Chen hadn't noticed his aura, he wouldn't have recognized him. Just now he had tried to use a spiritual attack against Long Chen, and he had used his lightning to block it. With Yi Qian in his hand, Long Chen looked coldly at Yi Yeo Chen. Fortunately, his spiritual strength was strong enough to sense Yi Yeo Chen's sneak attack. Long Chen, release Yi Qian. That is the only way you'll live to see tomorrow, shouted Yi Yeo Chen. Although that was what he said. Long Chen heard some well-hidden delight in his voice. His anger was a cover for himself. I don't believe that doing so is my only way to live. Your words are just like a fart. I can't be bothered to even listen. I'm going to wait here for someone with actual authority to come, sneered Long Chen. Just at this moment, the crowd parted, and a group of elders in golden robes walked in. Their leader was a white-haired elder. Upon seeing that elder, Yi Yeo Chen bowed. Senior Pil Doyen, this matter has actually disturbed you. The elder shook his head. In all my years, I've never seen someone capture one of the Divine Pil Division's disciples. My eyes have been opened to the world. I just want to see who has such ability. The elder walked over to Long Chen accompanied by his group. Yi Yeo Chen barked. Long Chen, this is the great Pil Doyen of the Divine Pil Division. Get the hell down from there. Long Chen laughed. Yi Yeo Chen. Are you an idiot? Or do you have some enmity with the idiot in my hand and want me to kill him? Long Chen's hand tightened, and Yi Qian started to turn purple. He struggled but was unable to escape Long Chen's hold. Long Chen said, Don't blame me. That fellow down there wants you to die. How do you know him? Apparently he wants me to kill you and then he'll have an excuse to kill me. But even if I released you, he'd do the same. So I'm wondering if I should just kill you and then make my escape. Although my chances of escaping aren't very high. Bringing a scapegoat like you down with me doesn't seem that bad either. No, don't. Yi Qian barely managed to choke out a few words. At the same time, he was filled with hatred for Yi Yeo Chen. Yi Yeo Chen wanted this matter to get bigger. And he didn't care if he died or not. Long Chen, that's about enough. If you have something to discuss. We can discuss it calmly. Your life is a life. And Yi Kian's life is also a life. Neither one is more valuable than the other. To exchange a life for a life is nothing more than words of anger. I trust that you wouldn't do such a thing unless you had no other choice left. And the current predicament clearly hasn't reached that level. Said the Pil Doyen. Surprisingly. He didn't seem angry. He appeared confident. As if he was in complete control of this situation. Long Chen smiled. You are correct. To tell the truth, I really am unwilling to exchange my life for his. But sometimes, some people do such infuriating things that it makes people want to directly slap them to death. Respected Pil Doyen, can I ask if all the disciples of the Divine Pil Division are gods who come to the mortal world? Are they supreme beings that will not allow other people to reject them? Are they people who can demand anything from anyone? Otherwise they will go hostile? Just now, everyone present witnessed what happened. I'm not slandering anyone. May I ask if the great Pil Doyen can give everyone a satisfactory explanation for this? Quite a few people had witnessed the entirety of the events that had occurred. Who was right and who was wrong was very clear. Yi Qian didn't have a leg to stand on. Which young person hasn't been impetuous due to their vigor? If every person was as deathly as us elders. The divine families would have no hope for the future. Rather than right and wrong, the most important thing is to learn and grow. Someone who runs around being arrogant will naturally have to pay the price one day. That is a natural process for growth. Yi Qian is at fault. As the head of the Pil Division, 
I was unable to discipline him and so I also have to take responsibility for this matter. If you feel that you have suffered an injustice, then how about I apologize to you for it, said the elder. Senior Pildoy and the elders beside him were all shocked. The Pildoyan's status was incredibly high. For him to apologize to a youngster was something extremely humiliating. The Pildoyan waved his hand. A wrong is a wrong. Does it have anything to do with status? Long Chen couldn't help reappraising this elder. He hadn't expected such a reaction. However, the elder's aura was concealed. He had no way of sensing his power, and his spiritual fluctuations were also impossible to grasp. Long Chen didn't feel any malice, but he also didn't feel any kindness either. This person was in existence on the same level as the deputy elder, someone who was above Nether Passage. He had to be careful around him. For senior to so courageously admit to a mistake humbles me. With your example, it would make me appear petty to not let this matter go. Long Chen smiled at him. He then turned to Yi Qian. Do you see? To be qualified to be arrogant but not act arrogant is the mark of a true expert. A full bottle doesn't make noise, but a half full one makes a bunch of noises. That's a reference to people like you. You should try to learn from your senior Long Chen tossed Yi Qian away. Just as he released him, Yi Yeo Chen shouted, Capture this brazen interloper. Yi Yeo Chen was the first to step forward. But before he could do anything else, a dark hand appeared on his shoulder, making him unable to move. Seeing that hand, Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. It was the hand of the Pil Doyen. His hand was black like charcoal. There were some wooden veins on it as well. The body is the furnace. Life is the flame. The Tao is contained within the palm. Senior is truly a behemoth of the Pil Dao. I apologize for my earlier rudeness. Long Chen was moved. He bowed toward the Pil Doyen respectfully. The Pil Doyen's hand was like that because he had used his body as the furnace and burned his very life to give birth to medicinal pills. His hand had been burned by countless flames. It could be said that someone who was capable of doing such a thing was not simply pursuing higher realms. Such a person was someone who viewed alchemy as a kind of belief. A belief that was even more sacred than their life. Alchemy was a grand profession but the majority of alchemists were only after status and wealth. This profession in particular easily twisted people's original hearts. That resulted in most alchemists being extremely arrogant. However, someone who was able to view alchemy as even more important than their own life was definitely worthy of respect, especially from another alchemist like Long Chen. The Pil Doyen was surprised that Long Chen could instantly see through this. Within the entire history of the Divine Pill Hall, he had been the only one to reach this step. Even the elders of the current Divine Pill Division didn't know why his hand was like this. You really are a master of the Pill Dao. You instantly saw through me. That's very admirable, praised the Pill Doyen. Most importantly, despite being so young, Long Chen was not only capable of instantly capturing Yi Qian to show off his domineering side, but he was also able to instantly recognize his hand and put away his arrogance. You also know how to refine pills. Yi Qian was enraged inside to hear this praise. He had thought that the Pil Doyen had come here for him, but now it seemed that he had just lost his face. I wouldn't dare to say such a thing. I just have a slight understanding, said Long Chen. He smiled faintly, already knowing what he had to say. As expected, Yi Qian sneered. I hear that you secretly learned the alchemy arts of Pil Valley? Even Pill Valley's representative was defeated by me in alchemy. Do you have the guts to compete with me? I guess that you don't. Your guess is correct. I don't have those guts. Long Chen turned away from Yi Qian to the Pill Doyen. Junior still has to buy some things. Will this matter affect my shopping? Of course not, said the Pill Doyen. Then Junior will say goodbye. Long Chen pulled Wan Qing away to buy the ingredients he wanted. Enraging Yi Qian. Coward, Long Chen acted like he didn't hear. He began perusing the various wares. Yi Qian suddenly shouted, Do you want to have a gamble? If you beat me, I'll give you all my wealth. Do you dare? Long Chen's eyes instantly brightened. He turned back. Then can I ask how much money you have? Chapter 2393 Pill Competition Translator Born to be how much money? To use such a vulgar word to weigh my household. It seems you really are a poor ghost. 
sneered Yi Qian. Long Chen curled his lips. Despite your eyes looking like that, they at least managed to see that truth. So tell me, how many points are you worth? If it's not enough, I'm not interested. The 300,000 points in his hands were not enough for these medicinal ingredients. The cheaper ones were already 20,000 points, with the more expensive ones being over 100,000 points. He guessed that some of these ingredients might be unique items. Due to not being able to produce more of them, they became especially precious. Based on what he had seen, there were many of them that he wanted, so he needed more points to buy them. For Yi Qian to challenge him to an alchemy battle was perfect. Points? Ha ha ha. If you want to calculate according to that, I have at least 100 million points. Do you want to gamble? Sneered Yi Qian. What kind of gamble? What are the stakes? Asked Long Chen. It's very simple. There are 873 12th tier pill formulas within the divine families. You can pick any one. As for the stakes, I know that you're a poor ghost. So I won't want your points. All you'll have to do is kneel in the divine family's plaza for three days and bark like a dog. How's that? Yi Qian was extremely confident. Big brother Long Chen, don't bet with him. You don't have any chance of winning, said Wan Qing. She had witnessed Yi Qian's terrifying alchemy arts. She was much weaker than him and had seen that he had been holding back. She hadn't even managed to get him to bring out his full abilities. Although Long Chen had also taught her alchemy arts, and the pill fairy herself felt great admiration for his alchemy technique, he was not a pure alchemist. He spent the majority of his time cultivating. He was under immense pressure just to survive. On the path of alchemy, being stagnant meant going backward. No matter how great Long Chen's alchemy arts were, having not used them for so long, there was no way they could have made any real advances. Based on Wan King's estimate, at best, Long Chen's current skill in alchemy was only one level greater than hers. That level was not enough to challenge Yi Qian. What? Even Fairy Wan Qing is worried about you losing. It seems you really are a spineless coward, sneered Yi Qian. Long Chen smiled and told Wan Qing, Although I haven't focused on alchemy the past few years, it's enough to handle him. If my hands have gotten rusty, then I can just take off my shoes and use my feet to beat him. That will show him what a true expert is. You. Yi Qian's expression darkened. Long Chen was looking down on him far too much. Yi Qian admitted that in terms of martial might, he was a far cry from Long Chen. But he had absolute confidence in his alchemy. Long Chen was nothing to him in that regard. The elders of the Divine Pill Division also turned gloomy. Long Chen really was so arrogant as to not care about the Divine Family's alchemy arts. On the other hand, the pill doyen was still standing there expressionlessly. If you were to look at him, he wouldn't seem like some supreme pill doyen. He seemed more like an ordinary elder who had come to watch something interesting. Then does that mean you agree to the bet? Let's go to the divine pill division for the competition, said Yi Qian gesturing. Slow down. Although winning should be easy for me, on the off chance, said Long Chen. On the off chance that you lose? What? You don't dare to bet. Did the mighty Long Chen gain his fame by going back on his word? Snorted Yi Qian. Shut up. Do you think I'm that Yi Lingfeng of your Yi family? Responded Long Chen disdainfully. Nonsense. I might be surnamed Yi, but I'm not a member of the Yi family. Don't think yourself clever. Sneered Yi Qian. Ah, no wonder that fellow wanted me to kill you just now. So you're not from the same family. If you had just said that earlier. I might have given you some more face. Little fellow, how did you end up offending that idiot for him to want you dead? Did you give him some infertility pills? Asked Long Chen. Yi Yeo Chen's expression sank. Long Chen, don't try to sow dissension where none exists Long Chen. Don't play this game with me. You aren't a good person either. Are we betting or not? Demanded Yi Qian. From this sentence. One could tell that Yi Qian detested Yi Yeo Chen on the same level as Long Chen. Well, continuing from where you interrupted me, of course I couldn't possibly lose. But what about the off chance that we end up drawing? Asked Long Chen. What a huge joke. You can't possibly lose. But a draw? If it's a draw, I'll give you 20 million points. It'll be up to you to have that ability. Sneered Yi Qian. All right. 
Since you want to lose so badly, I'll bet. Long Chen laughed confidently. Wang Qing grew uneasy, but there was nothing she could do about it now. The Pil Doyen simply smiled, while one of the elders behind him shook his head. This Long Chen is so reckless, he can't possibly beat Kyanur. This elder was the division head of the Divine Pill Division. He oversaw everything occurring in the Divine Pill Division, and his position was only second to the Pil Doyen. The Pil Doyen rarely bothered with the Divine Pill Division, so it could be said that the division head was the ruler of the Divine Pill Division. The division head was Yi Kian's master, and he was well aware of Yi Kian's alchemy arts. There were many areas where Yi Qian had already surpassed him. In terms of alchemy, Yi Qian could only be rated as monstrous, so he was of the same attitude as him. Long Chen couldn't possibly win, the Pil Doyen said. You're wrong. Kian Er has already lost. What the division head looked at him in shock. Senior Pil Doyen, may I ask you to be the judge in this matter? I don't want someone to lose and then renege on the deal. Long Chen cupped his fists to the Pil Doyen. It just so happens that I have nothing else to do. It's been a long time since the last pill competition in the Divine Pill Division. I'd like to watch it. Lu Fang, spread the news. The competition will begin in two hours. Anyone who wishes to watch may enter the Divine Pill Plaza. Lu Fang, an assistant to the division head, nodded and left. The crowd began to grow excited for the show. Long Chen, I'll watch how you embarrass yourself. I'll await the show in the Divine Pill Plaza. Yi Qian sneered and walked away. This child has no manners. The Pil Doyen indifferently shook his head. Senior, let me apologize. Kyan Er is still young and is immersed entirely in alchemy. He truly is lacking in manners. I'll give him a proper lesson later, said the division head. Being arrogant isn't a bad thing, but past a certain point, it's not a good thing. The Pil Doyen shook his head and left. The fact that Yi Qian hadn't even greeted him before leaving was clearly rude. The division head hastily followed behind him. The crowd immediately flowed out to the plaza. Even some of the people overseeing the wares were unable to stay still. They also wanted to go watch. Hence, they hastily looked for people to take over, with some offering to pay a large price to have them take over their shift. Long Chen, I look forward to seeing you crawl like a dog. He, it'll definitely be marvelous, laughed Yi Yeo Chen. The shape of your face isn't bad said Long Chen with a faint smile. You, Yi Yeo Chen was infuriated but also afraid. He was truly afraid of Long Chen's slap. He had never witnessed anyone within 30 meters of Long Chen managing to escape his slap. Countless people had seen his slap, but for some reason, the people he struck were unable to dodge it. Although this move had no killing power against an expert's tough body, the mental damage was truly frightening. Despite being a fourth step nether passage expert, Yi Yeo Chen was maintaining a certain distance from Long Chen. For Long Chen to say that the shape of his face was not bad, that was clearly a provocation, but he had no intention of getting any closer, so he gloomily left. With him gone, the only ones remaining beside Long Chen were Wan Qing and Chen Chen Feng. Neither of them were happy. Wan Qing shook her head. Long Chen. Are you really confident Long Chen laughed and rubbed her head? Foolish girl. Do you think I'd do something if I wasn't confident? Years ago, I was capable of teaching you alchemy. Years later, I'm still able to teach you. Just watch as I show you what true alchemy arts are. Wan Qing relaxed slightly and smiled sweetly. After that, the three of them walked out of the treasury. The eight Phlegians warriors were awaiting them, all of them looking at Long Chen oddly. Enough with the stairs. Do you have the drums and gongs? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Good. You'll be holding another performance today. Help me display the song that made the Eighth Legion famous. Long Chen laughed, causing the Eighth Legion's warriors' expressions to grow even odder. Shen Chen Feng didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Was Long Chen really not the slightest bit afraid? He had bound himself and the Eighth Legion to Long Chen. So he could only follow to the end. Chapter 2394 A Draw? Translator. Born to be the Divine Pill Plaza was quickly filled up. It was square like a chessboard and was filled with disciples. Normally, this place was used as an exam room for the Divine Pill Division's disciples. This allowed them to pick out the most outstanding disciples and give them greater benefits. 
Normally, each disciple would have a huge space between them and others. But today, there were only two large platforms set up in the center. Yi Qian was already seated on one. He had his eyes closed in meditation. Compared to his previous appearance, he looked like a completely different person. Yi Qian really is skillful. Once he focuses on his alchemy, he can instantly reach a perfect mental state, whispered Wang Qing. Although she didn't like him, she had no choice but to admit that he was shockingly talented at alchemy, even more so than her. Senior Feng Fei has also come, exclaimed Shen Chen Feng. Following his gaze, Long Chen saw a small empty area. Everywhere else was filled with people, but that one spot only had Feng Fei and a dozen attendants revolving around her. Even amongst that group of beautiful women, Feng Fei stood out. Feng Fei looked back at Long Chen, seemingly with some surprise. She most likely hadn't known that Long Chen could refine pills. Beside her, an attendant was whispering something to her. Her eyes were also locked on Long Chen. Most likely, she was giving Feng Fei some information on him. Looking around, Long Chen noticed that the ones who had come were the young disciples of the divine families. He didn't see members of the senior generation. The Pil Doyen had appeared on the overseeing platform. It seemed he was very interested in the upcoming competition. Big Brother Long Chen, you have to win. Wan Qing was still nervous. If he lost, the consequences would be worse than if he was killed. Don't worry. Have you forgotten? Your big brother Long Chen is a warrior of the starry sky. I'll pluck some stars for you in the future, said Long Chen. Wan Qing smiled. She was no longer that foolish girl from back then. Even though she now knew that the story had been nonsense, she was still happy. For an imposing hero like Long Chen to make up stories to amuse her as a child warmed her heart. Long Chen slowly walked over to his platform. Since one was already occupied, it went without saying that the other was his. As soon as he walked in, people began whispering about him. They had clearly investigated who he was. How can a frog at the bottom of a well who hasn't seen the world be qualified to challenge senior apprentice brother Yi Qian suddenly? Loud voices began to ring out over the crowd. That's right. With senior apprentice brother Yi Qian's honorable status, how can a dog or cat challenge him? He's clearly using this opportunity to elevate his own status. What a sinister person. Whether he wins or loses, he benefits. Despicable. Shameless lowbird. The ones speaking were people wearing the robes of the Divine Peel Division. They were practically directly cursing Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head and walked onto his platform. This seclusion of mine lasted for 23 years. Who would have thought that the disciples of my Divine Pill Division would end up getting so energetic? Not bad, said the Pill Doyen. The division head began to sweat. The Pill Doyen was not happy. He hastily said, Kyanur is the strongest alchemist of the junior generation and is viewed as an idol by his peers. Now that someone has provoked him, those disciples naturally feel dislike for Long Chen. Dislike means being allowed to spit on others? Why don't you look at Long Chen's expression? If this spreads further, it will lose the face of the Divine Pill Division. If Long Chen loses, it will be recoverable. But if he wins, it won't just be a slap in the Divine Pill Division's face but also in the faces of all the Divine Families. In my opinion, it seems that the position of Division Head needs to be replaced, said the Pill Doyen slowly. Senior Pill Doyen the current Divine Pill Division looks flourishing from the outside but the disciples are too hot-tempered and egotistical. They don't know how to exercise restraint. They are unable to reach the pinnacle of the pill Dao, and that includes you. You've already walked down the wrong path. You have yet to understand the words I told you before I went into seclusion. The pill Doyen shook his head disappointedly. Everyone, shut up. What do you think you're doing by spouting such vile words in public? The division head shouted and the disciples cursing Long Chen instantly fell silent as if they had been slapped. Pil Doyen. I, the division head looked at the Pil Doyen. We'll discuss it later. Carry out the competition. I essentially already know the result, said the Pil Doyen. The division head helplessly nodded. Just at this moment, an elder of the divine families appeared on the stage. This competition is being personally presided over by senior Pil Doyen. Once it starts, there will be no room for regret. 
Are the participants ready and willing? Yi Qian smiled and confidently said, Yes. Long Chen also nodded. The elder continued, Based on the agreement, Long Chen must pick one of the pill formulas contained within the Divine Pill Hall for this competition. Go ahead. The elder sent an exceedingly ancient looking beast hide over to Long Chen. It was covered in tiny characters. Over 10,000 pill formulas were written on top of it, all of them over the 10th tier, but only 873 were of the 12th tier. Since you wanted me to choose, then I won't stand on courtesy. Today, let us refine the life and death reincarnation star pill. Long Chen pointed to one of the formulas. When the name of the pill was announced, everyone turned deathly silent. The elders and disciples of the Divine Pill Division were especially shaken. Yi Qian sneered. What nonsense is that? The life and death reincarnation star pill requires the alchemist to have a cultivation base in the fourth step of Nether Passage. It requires Samsara power to refine. Can you refine it? Asked Long Chen. HMPH. I naturally can't. But you definitely can't either. Snorted Yi Qian. You can't refine it? All right. Then I guess that this competition is over. Pay up. Long Chen walked off his platform and extended a hand. What are you talking about? Demanded Yi Qian. He started to get a bad feeling. You can't refine it. And I can't refine it either. This competition ends in a draw. According to our agreement. If there's a draw. You have to pay me 20 million points. So. Big boss. Pay up. Many thanks. Long Chen smiled. That smile was definitely sinister. In the distance. Wan Qing covered her face, not wanting others to see her laugh. That would be rude. She had also underestimated Long Chen's treachery. Yi Qian had essentially been scammed from the start and had fallen for its hook, line, and sinker. Shen Cheng Feng and the others were amazed. This really was sinister. Without doing anything, he had ripped a chunk out of Yi Qian. Just going up the platform and coming off was enough to earn him 20 million points? You. Yi Qian's hair stood on end. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be so sinister. What? Are you backing out on your promise? No way. There's senior Pil Doyen here overseeing everything as well as countless people watching. Long Chen made a show of looking over the giant crowd. Long Chen. The division head's expression also changed. Shameless despicable. Lobert. Get the fuck out of the divine families. Someone like you isn't fit to stay here. Every disciple present began to shout. They had originally been anticipating a competition between behemoths. They wanted to see how Yi Qian would beat Long Chen and show the might of the divine families. But instead, Long Chen used such a sinister trick? Long Chen ignored their cursing. He looked at the sky, even extending a hand as if encouraging them to continue. He just wanted Yi Qian's money. Being wrong isn't disgraceful. What's disgraceful is being wrong and not admitting to it, instead blaming others. I already said that one must be responsible for their own actions. Treat others as you wish them to treat you. That is the way to open your mind and create a greater path for yourself. However, you didn't understand what I said 20 years ago. Not only have your own alchemy arts not progressed, but you also grew obstinate and opinionated, resulting in you raising such a herd of disciples. The Pil Doyen shook his head at the division head. His tone was flat, as if nothing could make him angry. But the division head was sweating. Although there was no master and disciple relationship between him and the Pil Doyen, the Pil Doyen had given him many pointers and had had high hopes for him. It could be said that despite the lack of a formal relationship, they were no different from master and disciple. However, this informal master of his was extremely disappointed in him. Disciple knows what he must do. The division head nodded and suddenly stood up, seeing him take a stand. Quite a few of the disciples began to cry for him to uphold justice. Senior division head, Long Chen is a swindler. Kick him out. Trash like this actually dared to challenge senior apprentice brother Yi Qian. He's not even fit to carry his shoes. How can such a person just be expelled? He has blasphemed our sacred alchemy arts. He needs to be executed all of you. Shut up. The division head's voice rang out loudly in those disciples' ears, causing them to instantly shut their mouths. Yi Qian, you were the one who made the bet. Having a loophole you left exploited is your own fault. And if a person wishes to gamble, 
then they have to be willing to lose. Do you not know what you have to do? The division head shouted at Yi Qian, causing him to turn green. Chapter 2395 Heavenly Flame Orb Translator Born to be but Long Chen, he, Yi Qian was extremely aggrieved. What bots? A man's word must be kept. Are you going to go back on the terms of the bet? Demanded the division head. Yi Qian was astounded. Ever since he had taken the division head as his master, he had always treated him even better than a son. But now he was suddenly acting like this. Hence, Yi Qian clenched his teeth furiously. Fine. I admit defeat. But I don't have that many points on me right now. I'll have to trouble Senior to help me out with the loan so I can repay it later. 20 million points. That was a frightening amount. Who would carry that many points on them? Even the first Legion's yearly income including the rewards that the Divine Families gave them was only 15 million points. 20 million points was enough to turn anyone's eyes red. When a crystal card landed in Long Chen's hand, all the experts present felt sour. 20 million points had landed in his hands just like that? That kind of swindling was intolerable. This Long Chen really is sinister. Against someone who only knows how to refine pills and has no experience with the rest of the world like Yi Qian, Long Chen can easily play him to death. Elder Long and the deputy elder were watching the scene. Elder Long couldn't help feeling that it was funny. It doesn't matter if it's a sinister scheme, above board play, or something that cannot be seen. As long as it's a victory, it's a good move. The deputy elder smiled. But the curious thing is why the senior Pil Doyen is personally bearing witness to this. Is he really just going to watch as his disciple is scammed? Wondered Elder Long. It's not curious. The Pil Doyen is one of the few people that I admire. He is infatuated with the Pil Dao, using it to peer into the heavenly Daos. His dedication is admirable. Long Chen's little tricks cannot possibly escape him, said the deputy elder. Then why didn't he give a warning? Why would he? Speaking is an instinct, while not speaking is wisdom. Do you think that it's a coincidence that Yi Qian ran into Long Chen? No. Someone set it up. Everything is within the Pil Doyen's control. Watch closely. Your character is a bit similar to the Pil Doyen's. Try to learn from him, and you might find your chance to make a breakthrough, said the deputy elder. Many thanks for the pointer. Elder Long hastily bowed before falling silent and continuing to watch. Long Chen smiled widely upon receiving the crystal card. His eyes were like slits from how wide his smile was. He cupped his fists. Many thanks for your patronage, boss. I wish you a long life of fortune. Well, I'm busy, so I'll take my leave. Long Chen swaggered away. That appearance of his really made people want to beat him to death. But the people of the divine families couldn't find a reason to do so. They could only endure suffering so much that it seemed like they were about to injure themselves. Suddenly, flames exploded out of Yi Qian as he lost control of his pill flame. Long Chen, you coward. Do you dare to have an honorable competition with me? Did we not just do that? Through that extremely narrow battle, we managed to end up drawing, with neither being above or beneath the other. Long Chen cocked his head back at him. That was no competition. Are 20 million points enough to satisfy you? If you beat me, you can have all my 100 million points. I'm not a greedy person. 20 million points is enough for me. If I need more money, I'll definitely come find you. Don't you worry. After all, such a good boss is hard to find. Long Chen turned his back around. Seeing him walking away just like this, Yi Qian suddenly took out a colorful orb. Heavenly Flame Orb. The division head's expression instantly changed. He was about to say something when the Pil Doyen waved his hand, indicating for him to stay silent. Flame energy filled the air. It was thrumming, as if it was bowing to the orb. Even Long Chen was shocked. There was a kind of flame fluctuation coming from that orb, one capable of suppressing all flames in this world. Within his body, Huo Long instantly woke up, expressing that it had to have that. What is that? Asked Long Chen. Yi Qian sneered. It seems that you don't recognize this. It is a priceless treasure from another world. It is called the Heavenly Flame Orb and is a divine item from an ever higher plane. The strongest flames of the martial heaven continent are the Earth Flames. 
The inverse Tao water spirit flame that you possess is ranked number one amongst the earth flames. But earth flames are not pill flames. They are violent and not easy to control. Only sub-rate alchemists would use them. True alchemy masters have their own inheritances for their pill flames. My heaven gathering blood flame and the pill fairy's white void flame are such inherited flames. They are created through the efforts of countless generations. These inherited flames are not inferior to your earth flame when it comes to alchemy or battle. Most importantly, they are one with our bloodlines, allowing us to use them easily stop nattering and get to the point. My understanding of alchemy is far greater than yours. What is that thing? Interrupted Long Chen. This fellow actually wanted to start using his learning to win back his lost dignity. This heavenly flame orb contains the essence of a heavenly flame that lies above the earth flames. It is said to have flowed down all the way from the immortal era. Although the energy inside it cannot be directly absorbed, just allowing your pill flame to rest inside of it will purify it. And over a long time, it will increase its power and maybe even mutate it. This is a truly priceless treasure. The divine families only possess three of them, while this is one of them. So, do you want to gamble? Demanded Yi Qian. That's a good treasure. If you really want to give it to me, I don't feel good declining. But I want to know, will you cry if you lose? Asked Long Chen. What a joke. As long as you win, this heavenly flame orb will be yours. It's just up to you to see if you have that ability, sneered Yi Qian. Shen Chen Feng and Wan Qing stood there with the eighth legion. Shen Chen Feng shook his head. This Yi Qian has gone crazy. He wants to beat Long Chen no matter the price. However, both of them seem so confident. I wonder who is actually better Yi Qian was the number one genius of the Divine Pill Division, but he never appeared outside. There were signs that he was surpassing his master. Among the so-called geniuses in the same generation, none were fit to even carry his shoes. That had resulted in his arrogance. As for Long Chen, he was not a pure alchemist. For such a person to challenge the divine family's number one alchemist should be a joke. But the more he was in contact with Long Chen, the less he saw through him. That confidence of his made it seem like there was nothing in this world that he couldn't do. Wan Qing didn't say anything. She was still worried for Long Chen because she was profoundly aware of just how frightening Yi Qian was. Everyone's focus was on Long Chen. They were all anticipating him accepting this battle. In their eyes, as long as he accepted, he would definitely lose miserably. That would win back the lost dignity of the divine families. Fine. Since you want to lose so badly, I'll accept this heavenly flame orb. I'll treat it as a tuition fee, said Long Chen. When Long Chen walked back onto the platform, the divine family's disciples cheered. They all knew that Yi Qian was about to win. Hold it, shouted Yi Qian. What? You want to just directly accept defeat? That would be best. I'm pretty busy, so you can just give it to me now. Long Chen extended a hand. R. Are you a fucking idiot? Yi Qian almost coughed up blood. He roared. I've taken out the heavenly flame orb, so you have to increase the stake as well. What do you want? Asked Long Chen lightly. A poor ghost like you doesn't have anything good. I'm only doing this to show the uncivilized people of the martial heaven continent what true alchemy arts are. Sneered Yi Qian. Long Chen shook his head. What big words. Are you not afraid of choking yourself when you have to swallow them? Pill Valley possesses the inheritance of true gods and their alchemy arts. Although I am their enemy, I admit that they are the true masters of alchemy. As for you. What right do you have to call them uncivilized? I really don't know how your master taught you. The Pildar requires one to control their temper. Alchemists must associate with fire, but they cannot allow that fire to affect their character. To refine pills is to refine the heart. When the heart is not present, any pills refined will lack spirit. For me to compete with you is practically bullying you. If it weren't for that heavenly flame orb, I wouldn't bother. But I will give you one last chance. If you regret it now, you can take it back. Otherwise, once you lose, don't blame me for bullying a child. I don't need to think about it. If I lose, you get the heavenly flame orb. If you lose, other than returning the previous 20 million points, you also have to use your tongue to clean up every brick here. Do you dare? Roared Yi Qian. What child's play? Fine. 
I agree. What will we be competing with? Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. He hadn't been planning on beating Yi Qian too badly, but he had just changed his mind. Chapter 2396 Dao Merger Spirit Pill Translator Born to be speak. I'll let you choose how we compete. You can choose what you're best at. Long Chen tossed the beast hide to him. Of course. You can also choose the same one that I chose. That will be your only chance to draw with me. Long Chen's confidence was finally starting to shake some of the Divine Family's disciples. Was he really so assured? Or had he simply accepted his fate? As you're the guest, I will leave the right to choose to you. You can choose any pill other than the life and death reincarnation pill. I will beat you at your strongest pill to show you how outclassed you are, sneered Yi Qian, tossing the beast hide back to Long Chen. Yi Qian had his own pride and confidence. Other than the life and death reincarnation pill, he was confident on everything else on the list. Fine, I didn't want to pick because I don't want people to say that I bullied you. But since you don't want to pick either, we can have others pick. Long Chen tossed the beast hide to the overseeing elder. The elder caught it, confused. Long Chen suddenly threw out three small fruits. They landed amongst the distance crowd, smattering three people with blood-colored juice. The three of them jumped and began wiping, only to find that their faces were already dyed red. This is the blue flower blood fruit. Long Chen, you, this was a medicinal ingredient. The flower was pure blue, but the fruit it bore was as vividly red as fresh blood. Without a few months' time, there was no way for the color to fade once it touched someone's skin. It wasn't poisonous, but it enraged them. Just now, you three were the ones shouting the loudest from the Divine Pill Division. Now I'll give you a chance to get back at me. Each of you, pick a number between 1 and 10, said Long Chen. Why should we? Long Chen, you are provoking the Divine Pill Division. Shut up. Pick a number, ordered Yi Qian. 5, 9, 3. The three of them extremely unwillingly picked a number. They hated Long Chen to the core now. Their only desire was for Yi Qian to trounce Long Chen. Five, nine, three. That's what you three picked. And I wouldn't possibly collude with you. Everyone can see their hatred for me. There's no chance of me cheating. So this number wasn't something anyone could have picked beforehand. Examiner, I'll trouble you to read out the name of the 593rd pill either from the front or the back, up to you, said Long Chen. Everyone realized that Long Chen had done this to make sure that no one would have any advantage over the other when it came to the pill chosen. The pills on the list were not listed according to their difficulty to refine. Instead, they were listed based on when they were discovered. As a result, the difficulty was random. The 593rd pill is, the examiner started to read, but his expression changed slightly. The Hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill. The name of this pill left most of the disciples confused. But the disciples of the Divine Pill Division sucked in cold gasps of air. That was an extremely difficult pill. Requiring not just a powerful flame but also an enormous amount of spiritual strength. Other than the normal requirements for refining pills. It also required the ability to inject heavenly Dao energy into the pill. In truth, it could not be considered an ordinary pill. It was a pill that possessed an innate spirituality. The heavenly Tao energy that nourished it during the refinement would result in it having its own spirituality. A spirituality that was qualitatively different from the spirituality bestowed upon a pill as a result of pill lightning. Long Chen, you'll definitely lose. This hundred Tao merger spirit pill is not only one that I can refine, but it is also one of the pills that I excel most at refining. Let's just see how you embarrass yourself. Yi Qian laughed heartily. Senior apprentice brother Yi Qian really is amazing. Not only can he refine the hundred Dao merger spirit pill, but he excels at it as well? How will this bumpkin compete with him? How can such a person even be compared to senior apprentice brother Yi Qian? That would be an insult to senior apprentice brother Yi Qian he. I want to see how long Chen crawls on the ground and barks. Haha, <laughs> thinking of how arrogant he was. I can't wait. The Divine Pill Division's disciples seemed to already be able to see the conclusion and were all growing excited. Wang Qing shook her head. Are all the disciples of the Divine Family so stupid? How are they going to survive the embarrassment if Big Brother Long Chen wins? 
Is it so satisfying to be slapped by your own words? Cough. Fairy Wang Ching. Let me just correct your phrasing. It's not all the disciples of the divine families. It's the disciples of the divine pill division. Said Shen Chen Feng awkwardly. Oh. Sorry. I misspoke. Said Wang Ching. She truly had misspoken by lumping in Shen Chen Feng and the Eighth Legion with them. Shen Chen Feng smiled. It's fine. The current divine pill division is like this. Although they look to be flourishing, they're too arrogant. We don't like them, but they are alchemists that the divine families need. So we have to let them be arrogant. If you walk by them, they might be in a mood and curse you for being rude. As if not bowing to an alchemist is a huge offense. I've wanted to slap them myself in the past, but I don't have Long Chen's gods. The disciples of the Divine Pill Division were so arrogant that the other disciples avoided them. It wasn't that they were afraid of them, but that they were worried they wouldn't be able to hold themselves back from beating them. Many of the regular disciples of the Divine Families were quite satisfied to see Long Chen slap their faces. While they didn't believe that he could win, they wouldn't mind seeing him slap their faces again. A couple of disciples appeared carrying precious medicinal ingredients. They were then arranged on the platforms. There were over 700 ingredients, and three sets, indicating that both of them had three chances. Considering that you are refining the extremely difficult 100 Dao Merger Spirit Pill, which takes a great deal of time to refine, and adding on the pressure of so many people being present, you would normally be given three days. However, there are too many Empyreans present which will naturally affect the surrounding heavenly Tao energy. As a result, we have extended the timeline to five days. Are the two of you prepared? If you are, then we can start at any time. The examiner took out a large hourglass. As long as the two of them nodded, the time would start counting down. Let's start. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. After I take that orb, I still have more things to do said Long Chen. Yi Qian sneered and didn't reply. He simply nodded to the examiner. Then let the competition begin. The hourglass's runes activated. Dark red sand began to fall from the top. Yi Qian took a deep breath. He instantly seemed to become a different person. His arrogance, his wildness, his tyrannical air, they all vanished, replaced with a calm serenity. It almost felt like he had been acting before. He... Once senior apprentice brother Yi Qian starts refining pills, he enters a perfect state of forgetting everything other than the refinement. I'll probably never be able to reach such a perfect realm, said one of the Divine Pill Division's disciples worshipfully. Even though he could also be classified as a genius of alchemy, he was not in the same realm as Yi Qian. Yi Qian's master, the division head, looked at the pill Doyen. Kyanur is capable of calming all his emotions once he starts refining pills. It's very difficult for a young disciple to reach this level. Even many senior alchemists cannot do this. Yi Qian was his pride. He treated him better than a son, and he didn't spare any effort in raising him. To be able to have such a disciple, he felt that any regrets that he had could be entrusted to him. He was proud to have raised such a disciple. He looks calm on the surface but that does not represent that there are no fluctuations in his heart. Even if the surface of the water is calm, what if some outer power were to interfere? The pill Doyen didn't praise Yi Qian. The division head didn't know what to feel about that. Having the pill Doyen not look favorably upon Yi Qian made him feel terrible. But the pill Doyen's position in the divine pill division was supreme. Are you unconvinced? Just watch, said the pill Doyen with a faint smile. The division head gloomily continued to watch. He suddenly smiled coldly. Chapter 2397 Tuition Fee Translator Born to be Yi Qian seemed to have forgotten Long Chen. Blood-colored flames were currently enveloping one of his ingredients. That ingredient was melting at a speed visible to the naked eye. The impurities were gradually expelled. At the same time, a strange fluctuation came from within Yi Qian's body. That fluctuation seemed to have some accordance with the ingredients. The void shook. Seemingly without using any techniques, the surrounding heavenly Tao energy began to naturally merge into his pill flame to assist in his refinement. This was the most amazing thing about an inherited flame. Due to the bloodline inheritance, it was easily controlled. 
and through the nourishment of countless generations, it was already accepted by the heavenly deos. When the flame appeared, the heavenly deos followed. An inherited flame is a true pill flame. It cannot be considered on the same level as earth flames. As for Long Chen, TCH, from the moment he accepted senior apprentice brother Yi Kian's challenge, he had already lost, sneered one disciple. Every time I see senior apprentice brother Yi Qian refine pills, I feel like prostrating myself toward him. To enter this state of forgetting everything but the pill Dao is something I'll spend a lifetime trying to reach. Those disciples weren't sucking up. They really did feel worship for Yi Qian's abilities. Why isn't Long Chen moving? Does he have no idea how to refine the pill? Who knows? That might be normal considering what a dismal place the martial heaven continent is now. That's fine. In any case, senior apprentice brother Yi Qian will definitely be the one to win. We just need to see how Long Chen embarrasses himself. Who has any hopes of witnessing his alchemy arts? While the other disciples of the Divine Pill Division didn't have any interest in seeing Long Chen's alchemy, Wan Qing, Shen Chen Feng, and the others were all looking forward to it. But they were nervous now. Could it be that he really didn't know how to refine it? Otherwise, why wasn't he moving? The Hundred Dao Merger Spirit Pill was something that Wan Qing had come into contact with before, but she had never refined it. The Pill Fairy had said that with Wan Qing's current power, she was still unable to refine that pill. Long Chen was simply sitting there, watching Yi Qian refine his ingredients with interest. It was unknown what he was thinking. In the distance, Feng Fei frowned. She was frowning not because of Long Chen, but because of the Divine Pill Division's disciples who were nattering. Have them shut up, said Feng Fei to one of her attendants. That attendant immediately walked over to those disciples and shouted, Shut up, if you keep shouting. Senior Feng Fei won't be able to focus on watching. If fawning over others could increase your power, then there would be no need for anyone to cultivate after saying that. She walked back without even looking at those disciples again. Just that one shout was very effective. Those disciples gloomily looked at Feng Fei, but they didn't dare to say another word. Things fell very silent. The silence was refreshing as if a group of houseflies had been swatted. The other disciples not of the Divine Pill Division looked at Feng Fei gratefully. Only she was able to suppress these fellows. Everyone looked at the center. Yi Qian was reaching the final moment of refinement for his first ingredient. Even Yi Qian had to be careful with such difficult ingredients. The requirements for the flame control were extremely high. Long Chen calmly looked at Yi Qian. He suddenly asked, Brother. What's your surname? I'm surnamed Yi Qian began to speak without thinking about it, but his expression then changed. The precious ingredient that had reached the final part of refinement suddenly exploded due to the distraction. Bastard! Raged Yi Qian. Long Chen had once more played a treacherous con against him. Bastard? What a strange surname. I've never heard of such a name. Ah, so you aren't part of the Yi family. Your full name is Bastard Yi Qian. Now I understand. I'm Long Chen. Nice to meet you. Long Chen cupped his fists toward him. The pill Doyen indifferently said, This is your so-called perfect state of forgetting everything but alchemy. This, this is Long Chen's con. Such a thing would never have occurred otherwise, said the division head. Also dumbfounded. How had Long Chen managed to pull Yi Qian out of that realm with just a question? Long Chen didn't do anything. He didn't use spiritual strength spiritual yuan, or the power of his astral space. He simply asked a very normal question at the moment of Yi Qian's flame change. Yi Qian's spiritual fluctuations were slightly scattered due to how careful he was being, resulting in him being distracted by this simple question. Have you not taught him that when he focuses, he has to relax? At most, 70% of his mental energy should be concentrated. He had already passed 95%. So he had no way to react at all to Long Chen, instead responding instinctively. Is this how you teach your disciples? The Pil Doyen's expression finally grew severe toward the end. The division head could finally no longer bear it. Senior Pil Doyen, Long Chen is being sinister and intentionally harming Kyanur. Instead of criticizing Long Chen, you're blaming me and Kyanur, aren't you? The division head didn't have the guts to finish his sentence. 
favoring an outsider the pill doyen suddenly laughed after living for so many years you've grown more and more immature let's ignore any favoritism for now tell me with such concentrated mental energy how is an alchemist supposed to handle the sudden invasion of a heart devil but kyanur doesn't have any heart devils he has never run into any setbacks argued the division head he doesn't have one now but what about in the future are you planning on looking after him for a lifetime? What about when you die? Or are you planning on bringing him with you? Your pampering is not helping him. It is harming him instead. Even if he doesn't run into a single setback his entire life. Does that mean that he won't have a heart devil? Ah, there's no point in saying these things. Just watch. The pill doyen sighed. The division head's expression was ugly. He placed all his hatred over this matter onto Long Chen. Long Chen, how can you be so despicable? If you think you can beat me this way, you're wrong. You're definitely going to lose. Yi Qian suddenly burst into flames, using this method to block Long Chen from his sight. He restarted his refinement. After a while, Long Chen stood and stretched his waist. He yawned. Yi Qian, as an alchemist, I need some music to get in the mood. I'm sure you won't mind. Long Chen beckoned to the Eighth Legion's warriors. In front of countless shocked gazes, the warriors began to take out drums and gongs. Ear-piercing sounds rang out like blades in people's ears. The experts present instantly shot up, cursing. But their cursing was drowned out by the music. Yet again, the flame in Yi Kian's hand went out of control. The medicinal ingredient he had been refining exploded. Long Chen, what do you want? Roared Yi Qian. His voice was hoarse with rage. Long Chen waved his hand. The Eighth Legion's warriors immediately stopped. Seeing how murderous the gazes of the other disciples were, they hastily put away their instruments. Long Chen, you are absolutely despicable. You aren't fit to be an alchemist, roared one of the Divine Pill Division's disciples. Long Chen had used despicable means to ruin Yi Qian's refinement twice now, angering them. Even the elders were angered along with the other disciples of the divine families. He was treating them as monkeys to toy with. As long as the pill doyen gave the order, they would be happy to pounce and tear Long Chen to pieces. Despicable? Isn't this all your own fault? I had no enmity with the divine pill division. So why was I dragged here to gamble with this fellow? Are you blind or stupid? As soon as I arrived here, you mocked and ridiculed me to affect my mental state. Was that not the same thing? Now you say I'm not fit to be an alchemist? Then how are you fit to be alchemists? I've seen shameless people, but not people as shameless as you. Long Chen's words left those people at a loss for words. He turned to the furious Yi Qian. Little fellow, you should thank me, as well as the fact that you have a good senior. Otherwise, you would be screwed for this lifetime. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand. The medicinal ingredients before him flew into the air. A ball of lightning struck them, turning them to ash and shocking everyone. They looked at his table to see that he had destroyed two sets of his ingredients, leaving him with only one. Even Yi Qian was stunned. He had destroyed the same ingredient twice, leaving him with only one chance as well. Now Long Chen had returned them to an even playing field. He didn't know what to say. The others who had called Long Chen despicable were also dumbfounded, not knowing what to say. Using my real abilities to defeat you isn't worth my time normally. These little tricks are beneath me as well. The reason I am doing this is because I've accepted your tuition fee, said Long Chen. Bring out your full abilities. Show me what supports your arrogance. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back, no longer looking crafty and sinister. Instead, there was an indescribable confidence and domineering aura coming from him. Chapter 2398 The former master of the moon and star refining furnace translator. Born to be leaving us both with one chance is because I'm busy. We now have one set each and can bring out our true skills. Said Long Chen indifferently. He had completely changed. Now that he was serious. He definitely possessed the air of a master. Then I'll show you. Yi Qian's fury and arrogance finally faded. Now he understood that like himself, Long Chen also had absolute confidence. If he continued like this, the one to lose in the end might be him. Yi Qian waved his hand. An ancient pill furnace appeared before everyone, and every alchemist present grew envious. 
the Dragon Phoenix Cosmos Furnace. I'm finally getting to see this priceless treasure in person. All the Divine Pill Division's disciples stared at it, and the cry of a phoenix and dragon could vaguely be heard. Clouds began to gather in the sky, with heavenly Tao energy surging over. This was an extremely ancient divine furnace. An alchemist using it would find refining pills much easier. Take out your pill furnace. If you don't have one, I don't mind giving you one, sneered Yi Qian. Although he now viewed Long Chen as an opponent, he couldn't hold back his rage at being conned thrice. In addition to having his throat held inside the treasury, I really don't have a good pill furnace. Why don't you give me one? Long Chen also sneered. He waved his hand, taking out a pill furnace that was covered in rust and looked worn down. Everyone was silent, but then the Divine Pill Division's disciples began to laugh. What a poor ghost. He's actually using such a rusty furnace to compete with senior apprentice brother Yi Qian? Why not just take out a chamber pot? Feng Fei frowned. One of her attendants was about to stand again, but Feng Fei shook her head. These fools don't even know what a priceless treasure that is. In a bit, they'll know how blind they are. Even the elders of the Divine Pill Division were startled. What was Long Chen thinking by using such a broken furnace? Was he trying to insult the Divine Pill Division? However, the Pill Doyen's body shuddered. His eyes were filled with disbelief. The Moon and Star Refining Furnace? Is this real? The Pill Doyen actually stood and walked over to Long Chen. Senior. You recognize the moon and star refining furnace. This time, it was Long Chen's turn to be surprised. He hadn't expected someone to recognize it. Of course I recognize it. How could I not recognize the leader of the ancient era's ten great pill furnaces? The pill doyen respectfully rubbed the moon and star refining furnace. He sighed. The ancient records state that the moon and star refining furnace's final master was Yan Qingsheng. In a battle alongside the sovereign. The alchemy grand master Yan Qingsheng fell, while the moon and star refining furnace was broken. Who would have thought that the ancient records were wrong? It is still present, but it's badly damaged. Although its soul has gradually awakened, it's still a very long way from being fully restored. This was Long Chen's first time hearing most of this information. He hadn't known that the moon and star refining furnace's origins were even greater than he had thought. It was the head of the ten great pill furnaces of the ancient era. Right now, its soul was too badly damaged, and he could only communicate with it simply. An item spirit was different from a human, and its core was badly damaged. He hadn't expected that this cauldron that the mechanism sect had sent his way thanks to the Dongfang family would end up profiting him so immensely. Long Chen, if you are interested, my divine pill division will give you a nice price for it said the division head. As soon as he said this, killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes. He vanished, appearing in front of the division head and grabbing his throat. Do you want to try repeating what you just said? Long Chen's sudden hostility made everyone jump. Furthermore, did he not realize he was holding the throat of the division head? With his left hand holding his throat, Long Chen's other hand was pressed against his chest. Destructive power thrummed in his palm. As long as he released it, the division head would be blasted apart. The division head was furious at this. He had just asked if Long Chen wanted to sell his furnace. But Long Chen somehow became crazy. He didn't dare to do anything. Afraid that Long Chen would really kill him. Alchemists were not martial cultivators. They had very weak bodies. And a lack of battle experience meant that even a fourth step nether passage alchemist could be easily killed by Long Chen at such a close distance. The various experts present began to take out their weapons, surrounding Long Chen. Everyone, stop, shouted the Pil Doyen. He turned to Long Chen. Long Chen, my apologies. He is not a martial artist and doesn't know certain rules. On account of this old man's face, can you forgive him this one time? The Divine Family's people didn't dare to believe their ears. The Pil Doyen was actually apologizing to Long Chen? Had the world gone insane? Long Chen gloomily tossed the division head to the side. On account of Senior Pil Doyen's face, I'll let you off. If not for him, even if the master of the Divine Families came, I'd still kill you. Free from him, the division head furiously shouted. You, the Pil Doyen said, shut up. This is the result of your own ignorance. 
In the divine families, our pill furnaces are all inherited, so you don't know the rules of the outside world. A pill furnace with its own spirit like the moon and star refining furnace will not easily choose a new master. Once chosen, it will not find another master unless the previous master dies. The master of the pill furnace is the same, and they will protect their pill furnace with their life. You wanted to buy his pill furnace without even understanding this? That's one of the gravest insults. If Long Chen said that he wanted to buy your wife, what would you do? The division head fell silent. He hadn't heard of such a thing before. The other members of the divine families also came to an understanding. Seeing that the division head really hadn't known about such a rule, Long Chen's expression softened slightly. Just now, he had really wanted to kill him. Thanks to the pill Doyen's explanation, the misunderstanding was cleared up. But even if he had been mistaken, the division head couldn't apologize to a member of the junior generation, especially not after Long Chen had grabbed his throat and made him lose face. The pill Doyen sighed. The moon and star refining furnace was actually damaged to such an extent. That battle must have been terrifying. Yan King Shen was a grand master of the pill Dao. Of the current pill formulas used in the world, hundreds were created by him. He was able to progress the techniques of ancient alchemists and innovate new ideas, allowing future generations to become closer to the pill Dao easier. It can be said that he is a monument in the history of alchemy, someone with unmatched contributions to the path of alchemy. Most admirable of all, even when the Dark Era came, he chose to participate and died in battle. While it saddens me that he died, his heroism is moving. Many thanks for informing me about the history of the moon and star refining furnace. Its item spirit is still too injured and just woke up. It was unable to tell me about this history Long Chen cupped his fists. For the moon and star refining furnace to accept you as its master means that you are definitely a match for it. Well, haha, it seems that I've said too much. The competition can continue. The pill Doyen looked once more at the moon and star refining furnace before returning to his seat. Everyone was deathly silent. Those disciples of the divine pill division in particular felt a fiery hot sensation on their faces. Their blind mocking had now turned into a giant slap in their faces. Yi Qian looked at the moon and star refining furnace. He was unable to tell what was so amazing about it, but the pill Doyen's words were still ringing in his ears. The leader of the ten great pill furnaces of the ancient era. As for his dragon phoenix cosmos furnace, although it was a priceless treasure, it wasn't qualified to enter the top ten. In fact, its history could not be traced back to those times. Long Chen, if you dare to get an idea about my pill furnace, I'll kill you right here. Don't test my bottom line. At such a close distance, no one can stop me from killing you, said Long Chen preemptively. No matter how famous the moon and star refining furnace was, he had never viewed it as a tool. It was one of his companions. If someone wanted him to use it as a gambling chip, it would be one of the worst insults. Yi Qian snorted. So what if you have a good furnace? Its body is broken and its item spirit has yet to fully awaken. You can't beat me with that. Yi Qian suddenly patted the dragon phoenix cosmos furnace. Two pillars of divine light soared into the sky intertwining like a dragon and phoenix. A medicinal ingredient entered his pill furnace. He was finally starting his alchemy, and the atmosphere tensed once more. Chapter 2399 Endless Ridicule Translator Born to be Long Chen also didn't continue talking. He placed a hand on the moon and star refining furnace, causing translucent flames to begin dancing inside. Ha? Huh? He needs to warm the furnace? These are rudimentary techniques. Is he really a master of alchemy? Long Chen's actions could be considered standard. There was nothing outstanding about them. Many disciples of the Divine Pill Division did not need to go through the process of warming their furnaces first because they had reached the level of having their heart be one with their furnace. When they wanted to refine pills, the pill furnace would automatically warm up on its own and enter a refining state. On the other hand, Yi Qian was already refining his medicinal ingredients. His spiritual strength was flowing in smoothly, and the images of a dragon and phoenix above the furnace were growing clearer and clearer. His flame control was perfect. That control was something that no other disciple of the Divine Pill Division was able to achieve. 
the title of the Divine Pill Division's number one genius was not for nothing. Even Wan Qing had no choice but to admit that she couldn't find one flaw in Yi Qian's alchemy arts. The only one whose alchemy could surpass Yi Qian was the Pill Fairy, so Wan Qing didn't have very high hopes for Long Chen. Furthermore, after warming the furnace, Long Chen began refining his first ingredient. Everything he was doing was simply standard, with nothing to praise. As for the moon and star refining furnace, it was still deathly silent, looking to be powerless. Sneers began to ring out all around him, but Long Chen wasn't listening. He was now focused on his alchemy. What they were saying was something about how other than looking like a master, everything about Long Chen's alchemy was in line with an amateur. Long Chen's already lost. His inverse Tao water spirit flame might be the number one earth flame, but it seems that he cannot fully control it. There are many impurities he has failed to expel in his ingredients, said one of the elders of the Divine Pill Division. With his vision, he could clearly see that the impurities had not been fully expelled. For an ordinary disciple, that level of purity could be considered excellent, but it was still lacking in their eyes. After all, Long Chen was facing Yi Qian. Yi Qian had an inherited flame, and even without a pill furnace, he was capable of refining ingredients without leaving the slightest trace of impurities. As for Long Chen, even with the assistance of a pill furnace, he was unable to achieve the same level of purity. It made them wonder if Long Chen himself was this weak, or if his pill furnace was too badly damaged. Most inexplicable of all, it seemed that Long Chen was unaware of the impurities remaining in his refined ingredients. He was focused on refining more of them. For the moon and star refining furnace to land in his hands really is a waste of a treasure. One elder sighed sadly. For the head of the ten great pill furnaces of the ancient era to fall into such a novice's hands was truly sad. Well, we, another elder opened his mouth. Only for the elder beside him to glare at him and make him shut his mouth. They glanced toward the pill doyen. But the pill doyen didn't seem to be listening to them. He was focused on Long Chen. Seemingly pondering something. Most people's gazes were concentrated on Yi Qian. He was elegantly refining, with his flame undergoing a thousand transformations every second. Both alchemists and martial artists were capable of learning various things from his display. As for Long Chen's movements, there was nothing spectacular about them. 99% of the people here didn't bother to look at him anymore. Even if they did, it was only to sneer. Feng Fei was beginning to frown. One of her attendants said, How about we leave? This competition is entirely just Yi Qian showing off. We're wasting our time. Feng Fei hesitated before shaking her head. Let's just keep watching. We're already here. I still feel like this Long Chen isn't a good person. Why would he jump into such an obvious trap? That's true. I've investigated his history. I can't even count how many people he has conned to death said that attendant. Feng Fei was naturally irritated that Long Chen had essentially kicked her out last time when the 8th Legion had reclaimed their camp. He hadn't given her any face. As a result, she had decided to investigate him to find what kind of person he was. The investigation had shocked her and her attendants. His history was practically a miracle. But during his growth, he had also used many evil moves. In the Zhuanshan Monastery's disciple selection, he had kicked someone into a river and pissed on him. There was a time he had conned a whole group of people, only to step in and wreak the Jade Butterfly Queen Bee Honey. He had dug a hole and had the Dragon Blood Legion crap into it, all for drawing someone with misophobia inside of it. There was too much of his mischief to count. The con of the Third Legion was nothing compared to his past cons as a result of this. They had labeled Long Chen a sinister and wicked fellow. Such a person wouldn't just jump into someone's trap for no reason. That was why Feng Fei wanted to see the conclusion even if she was bored now. There were many ingredients to purify, which took a great deal of time. The slightest mistake could ruin everything during this process. This was why every alchemist's spiritual strength needed to be strong. Time passed bit by bit. Refining hundreds of different ingredients was a huge labor that didn't allow Yi Qian or Long Chen to slack off. However, people gradually came to notice something curious. Yi Qian's movements were all beautiful and perfect. His dancing flame's efficiency was extremely high. On the other hand, 
Long Chen's actions were slow and clumsy. Yi Kian's refining speed should have far surpassed his, but somehow, they were still refining the same ingredient at the same time. Although Yi Qian would pick up his next ingredient first, Long Chen would always follow. The speeds of their refinements were equally matched. No matter how Yi Qian tried, he was unable to shake off Long Chen. At this time, people started to sense something, and looking closely at Long Chen's movements, one person sneered. To keep up, he hasn't managed to purify many of his ingredients. What nonsense. These disciples didn't have the vision of the elders. After all, they didn't have that much experience. Only now did they notice that Long Chen's refined ingredients still had a trace of impurities in them. The disciples of the Divine Pill Division grew even more spiteful of Long Chen. In pursuit of speed, he was leaving impurities in his ingredients. That was so foolish that there was no cure for it. The result was obvious. Time quickly passed. Long Chen's movements continued to look dull. No one paid further attention to him. Novaloon.com just refining all the ingredients took three days. But in the end, they finished at the same time. Yi Qian snorted and formed a hand seal. His medicinal powders began to merge together inside the pill furnace one by one. His flame energy soared once more. A dragon and phoenix revolved around his pill furnace. Long Chen followed suit. He began sending his medicinal powders into the pill furnace. He, he's using his hands. When people saw that Long Chen was using his hands to send the powders inside the pill furnace, the alchemists almost staggered. Was that not the technique of an amateur? Even a new student should be able to use their spiritual strength to send the powders inside the furnace. What was Long Chen doing? If Long Chen's actions had seemed lackluster before, it was understandable. But what was this for? Was it an intentional insult to the divine families? The divine pill division's disciples grew angry once more. Let's just see how long he can act arrogant for. When the results are in, will he still be able to act that way? I'm looking forward to seeing him bark like a dog and clean the bricks, sneered one of them. Suddenly, Yi Kian's pill furnace rumbled. He had closed the lid. A dragon and phoenix cry resounded through the world. The world's energy formed a giant vortex around his pill furnace. It was a shocking sight that made the other alchemists' blood heat up. The moment that every alchemist anticipated the most was about to arrive. Long Chen has also closed his lid. When did that happen? Asked one person suddenly. Long Chen had also reached the final stage of his refinement at some point. He's just messing around. Who cares? sneered someone else. All their focus was on Yi Qian. All the heavenly Tao energy is gathering around senior apprentice brother Yi Qian. Long Chen hasn't managed to absorb a single trace. There's no way his pill will form, said another disciple coldly. Although Long Chen had closed his lid, there was no phenomenon of absorbing the world's energy. With Yi Qian present, his pill couldn't absorb any heavenly Tao energy. The competition's conclusion was already clear. At this moment, Long Chen's worn-down pill furnace finally began to light up, and the rust spots ignited. Suddenly, a starry sky appeared around everyone. What in that instant? All the experts involuntarily stared at the moon and star refining furnace, filled with shock. Chapter 2405 Color Pill Lightning Translator Born to be the moon and star refining furnace, which had been silent this entire time, suddenly began to shine. Stars appeared in the air, and it was like an entire cosmos was whirling around the furnace. This sight finally drew people's attention away from Yi Qian. Long Chen was still calm, but the fluctuations of the moon and star refining furnace were growing ever stronger. The rust and worn down areas of the furnace were still present, but they were no longer able to cover up the pill furnace's divine light. A ripple suddenly spread in every direction from the moon and star refining furnace. It was a gentle power that passed through the entire plaza. People felt the soft energy ripple by them. After flowing out, the ripple faded. Things fell silent, with people simply staring in confusion. After a while, the moon and star refining furnaces stars began to move according to a set pattern. The flame fluctuations grew hotter. Flames enveloped Long Chen, and a wave of heat made the experts present feel like they were being roasted. This idiot. He's actually using such a violent flame just as the pill forms? The outside will be damaged. 
while the inside won't be evenly heated. It would be crazy if the pill even condenses at this rate, sneered an alchemist. This was the action of a layman. Did he think that he was cooking food? Just at this moment, rumbling rang out. Tribulation clouds appeared in the sky. Senior apprentice brother Yi Qian has finished his pill. The heavenly deos have sensed it and are unleashing pill tribulation. Yi Qian's pill furnace was trembling. His hundred dao merger spirit pill was about to come out for its tribulation. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. I'm done. You've lost. Laughed Yi Qian. He shouted. Bring down the heavenly tribulation screen. The plaza became covered by a translucent barrier, and his pill furnace instantly called down. This barrier was made for blocking pill tribulation. The pill tribulation wouldn't be able to sense the pill, and the pill wouldn't be able to sense the tribulation. After that, the lid opened and a wild spotted tiger came roaring out. Heavens, a top grade spirit pill form. Even without heavenly tribulation, it has its own spirit. Senior apprentice brother Yi Qian is so powerful. Every spot on this tiger contained its own Dao charm. The tiger itself was so powerful that a single roar from it shook their ears. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, now are you convinced of your loss? Yi Qian stood. Light shot out of his furnace, forming a net that bound the tiger. However, it didn't return to its original shape. He was clearly showing it off. Yi Qian himself was very proud of this refinement of his. Although he had refined the hundred Dao merger spirit pill before, he was surprised to find that today's pill was the best quality he had ever refined. The Divine Pill Division's disciples cheered thunderously at the sight of the tiger, while even the elders were shocked at Yi Qian's advancements. The division had smiled proudly. Yi Qian was his disciple, and Yi Qian's accomplishments were his pride. He silently glanced at the pill Doyen, expecting to see praise on his face only to find that the pill Doyen wasn't even looking at Yi Qian or the hundred Dao merger spirit pill. Instead, he was looking up at the sky. It was unknown what he was thinking. Long Chen, don't you think it's time to admit defeat? Stalling for time will only show how much of a coward you are. Even if you manage to condense a pill, it will at most be middle grade, a defective product. You've lost miserably, said Yi Qian proudly. Everyone looked at Long Chen. Starry Sky was still revolving around his furnace, but nothing else had happened. In terms of alchemy, Long Chen isn't even fit to carry senior apprentice brother Yi Qian's shoes. He should hurry up and admit defeat. Yes, just kneel and start barking like a dog. The bricks here are quite dirty, and we're anticipating your performance. What are you waiting for? Long Chen, are you planning on backing out? I'll really look down on you then. Wan Qing was pale with Shen Chen Feng feeling helpless. Although they had felt that Long Chen would lose, this result was still difficult to accept. Long Chen suddenly smiled and pointed at the sky. It would be best if you put away your pill now. Otherwise, your joy might turn into sorrow. Long Chen, have you gone mad from your defeat? Don't stall for more time. In front of my absolute power, your little tricks are a huge joke. Yi Qian suddenly trailed off. Due to Long Chen. People were looking at the sky, only to see something strange. Due to the activation of the barrier, the aura of the hundred Dao merger spirit pill had been hidden from the heavenly tribulation. So why were the tribulation clouds still present? This, the disciples of the divine pill division were bewildered. This had never occurred before. Boom. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning slammed down from the heavens, blasting away the tribulation clouds and striking the barrier. Cracks instantly appeared throughout the entire barrier. It looked as if a second attack would shatter it. What's going on? Strengthen the barrier. Kyanur, put away the hundred Dao merger spirit pill, shouted the division head. Turn off the barrier at this moment. The pill Doyen's voice rang out over the chaos. What are you talking about? The division head stared at him in confusion. Yi Qian didn't need a reminder. He immediately put away his pill but there was no sign of the tribulation clouds dissipating. Instead, they only grew denser. Lightning began to condense inside. In the end, they formed five giant vortexes of different colors. Heavens, isn't this five-colored lightning? I thought only a few rare cultivators could face such a tribulation has seen your apprentice brother Yi Qian's alchemy skills already progressed to the point of finding an unprecedented pill lightning. Heavens, 
Just what level has he reached? He's in a completely different world from us. To be able to witness such a heavenly genius is enough meaning for this lifetime. Yi Qian was also staring in shock at the five vortexes of pill lightning. He hadn't expected this pill to result in such a disturbance. Pill lightning was something common to the divine pill division. But there was no record of five colored pill lightning. Master, I wish to borrow the power of this tribulation to cleanse my hundred Dao merger spirit pill. Even if it's a failure, I wish to experience it. This is not just an opportunity to me, but all my fellow disciples, shouted Yi Qian to the division head over the thunder. The division head nodded. This heroism filled him with pride. He looked to the pill doyen, expecting him to encourage Yi Qian. If the pill doyen wasn't present, he would already be allowing Yi Qian to go through with it. The pill doyen looked at him oddly. He hesitated for a moment and then sighed. Have Kai in a retreat. This pill lightning isn't his. What the nearby elders almost fell to the ground from their shock. If this pill lightning wasn't Ji Kian's, then, they stared in disbelief at Long Chen. Their expressions were extremely odd. Master, are you worried about this hundred Dao merger spirit pill? I was able to refine one, so I can refine more. To exchange one pill for valuable experience in alchemy is worth it to me and the rest of the divine pill division, shouted Yi Qian. Thinking that the division head was unwilling to lose the pill he had just refined, the division head's expression grew extremely unsightly. He didn't know how to reply. The other disciples of the Divine Pill Division were cheering Yi Qian's name. Their worship for Yi Qian had reached an unprecedented point, filling him with pride. If the division head were to tell him at this moment that this pill lightning wasn't his, then the impact to him. Ah, it seems that your master is too embarrassed to say it. Fine, let me, I'll trouble you to move out of the way. My pill is about to come out of the furnace, and the tribulation is waiting for it. Long Chen looked at Yi Qian sorrowfully. The cheering came to a sudden stop. Everyone looked at Long Chen with shock. 